Good afternoon. What's going on, Sean? Great, man. Hi, guys. We are live. Great, 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 great. Mr. How's, Brett your <laughs> How's your day been, Sean? My day is great. My day is great. I'm getting okay. ready for our big day today, and we are here ready to roll with this show. We are going to be sharing people's journeys from the beginning to where they are right now. We have to find out how these great people have got to where they are, and this is our new show. Well, let me say thank you for asking me to be your co-host on it. And it's a pleasure being here with you also. You're very welcome, man. I, I mean, we did a show together. You were one of my guests. And I was so impressed with you <laughs> that I'm so happy that you agreed to come and work with me as my co-host. Um, I have to give some thanks also to Mr. To Brett Callahan from Total Barbados. Um, totally Barbados. You have this has been your baby. You you did all this first, man. And I appreciate you for this. Really appreciate No problem, it. my brother. Really, really thank you. My friend, schoolmate Sean Hammer, for doing all the graphics and the photos and everything that you see that makes this show looks good on social media. Sean Hammer, much thanks to you, my brother. My schoolmate, we went to school at Common Mirror together. We're still great friends. Anytime I call on you, you help me out. And I, I thank you for that, man. That's what friends are all about. Yes, 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 yes. Well, let's get this show on the road. And first of all, before we get this show on the road, I, you had some horses run last weekend. And I didn't think you didn't get the results you expected, but... The horse Corsi, which is you know from here in Canada, he ran here. He was we expected great things from that horse, but he had got hurt, and now he has ventured down to Barbados. And you seem to be doing some great work with him down there. We saw him had some lovely works and stuff down there. You see, you're doing a lot of beach work and stuff with him. Um, how he did he come out of that race? He came out of the race excellently, Roy. I am so happy with his horse. I mean, the track was not the best at the time when he ran. You know, it was a little a little chopped up. And he was on the rail and that stuff kind of stuff but um he has come out his race well he's eaten well and um we're looking to to go forward with him in the future i mean there's nothing to make us worry that we have to think other plans well that's great so we don't expect him to retire as a stud yet then we'll Not be able to see him one more at least a couple more times before he does go to stud yes okay. sir well in everything that we do we always have to um pay some bills and we have to go and do that right now <laughs> hi Leroy we have our first sponsor we have a, a special guest today Mr. Mohammed Mohammed from the Barbados Surf Club who has come by to, to speak with us we'd like to thank them and, and Rosette Paris Mohammed and Rosette Paris for for the sponsor ourselves but he's here today to talk to us about what we can do for the Barbados Turf Club going forward as a sponsor. Mr. Well, Mohammed. We'd like, we'd like to welcome Hi. you, Mohammed. Hi, thanks. Thanks, Sean and Leroy and the team, because there are a lot of behind the scene people. And just like to thank everybody to making Barbados Turf Club come aboard, being part of this journey and a continuing journey as well. A little about myself. Um, I'm Mr. Mohammed Mohammed. I'm the Barbados Turfler Liaison Officer. I'm also known on social media as Mahmoud Tata. The Barbados Turf Club are very pleased to be associated with the program Journeys, which is hosted by Sean Hall and Leroy Trotman. It highlights some of the achievements of the persons in, in the horse racing industry for our beloved island Barbados. I hope everybody enjoys the viewing. Great, 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 great. Now, we want to encourage people also with the online betting and stuff like that. Can you give us some more help with that, please? Yes, it's very simple. They need to go to our website, www.barbadosurfclub.org, all, all common, and 
when you go onto the website, you can just click on the on the um, link to say um, online betting, where you can buy vouchers and store. And so you can be in Team Bet too. And right now you can bet on Barbados Racing. I mean, we have a wonderful race there coming up on Wednesday, April the twenty seventh. Where the feature will be the Barbados Guineas, and that has a, it's a very open field. And more attractive to some of the Barbadians that are here is the evening going into night racing. I know a lot of Barbadians into the night racing. So, the, and the next day is a public holiday, Heroes Day, so they all can come out and enjoy the, the evening. So, yeah. Mohammed, you're saying that me here in Canada now, as we watch a lot of races from our, uh, from here in Barbados, now we're able to bet on your races now. I can make some Barbadian money, you're saying? Yes, it's all got started through it. COVID might be a blessing in this guys. It came all about when COVID and we started back racing. We couldn't get the crowds to come. So we opened up the online betting. It took a little time to, to, to get started. As anything new, um, people get the gif of it and eventually they catch on. Well, that's very good to hear from my part of it, which I'm hearing Canada and you guys in Barbados, because we'll be able to watch um, Commander's part, which in Jamaica on our HBI betting up here, and it's so nice to know that we're going to be able to bet on Barbados racing right now. So that's a wonderful thing for me and for my guys up here. Thank you guys for finally getting us to be able to not just watch racing, but to also bet on. Correct. W watching the races live is it's also a big attraction. Just go on the website again for those who don't know. Um, I hit, hit racing like watch racing like thank you great great and there's well one thing i would like to mention also is that our writers this is a good opportunity to to get our barbadian writers more familiar showcase. with the if you know showcase up here. for hearing with things up here period we want yeah. people from yeah. canada to, to notice the next stars that are on the horizon Correct. In the future, we can have more Barbadians in Canada writing. You're right. Tell me. Well, that's, that, that's the wonderful thing of what your show is going to broadcast for them now, Sean. So you are the wonderful thing that you're doing for your show that you you know, inviting us as Canadians up here. Meanwhile, Barbadian born to see what you've been trying to do for a while now. And now we're able to sit back, watch it, and also bet on it. Now, I, I can cut in here. I can say that. The horse racing industry is an exporting industry for Barbados when you look at it, you know. Correct. Very well said. It exports from grooms, trainers, jockeys, even um, trainers and, and grooms turn into owners. And look right. at how Darwin Clark did send, send back, give back to Barbados. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a positive thing. So it's not just coming in or see a couple of horses going around the garrison on the afternoon. It's an industry. And it's a and it's an export market for it. Well, well what I would great. like to see more owners from Barbadian, from the Barbadian owners, even Canadians, want to race horses here in Barbados. Also, that'll be excellent. Yes, Darwin Clark has uh, behalf has started a very good thing with you, Sean, and and let's hope it continues to grow. I know he, he intends to make it grow because he's not just into racing; he wants to do the breeding here too. Yes, correct. Yes, so that'd be great. Looking forward, you know, I mean, on on many, you know, it could be, it, this thing could get so big. If we do it correctly, and I'm very happy to have you guys on board, it means a lot to, to me. And um, we'll see what the future brings. And hopefully we can attract many more, many more sponsors, knowing that we can promote so much more of our game that we love so much on our show. As I said before, the Barbados Turf Club and its team headed by Mrs. Rosette Pierce, uh, absolutely delighted to be part of this journey. Well, we thank you guys very much. Thank you very much for that, man. You're I really welcome. appreciate that, and I wish Barbados Turf Club all the best going forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Well, Sean. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. So I'm going to let you do the honors of introducing your man, Mr. John o. Jones, come in the set, John o. Hey guys, <laughs> what's going on, man? Cool, man. How's cool, it going, man? John o? Everything good? Well, all you guys tonight. We're Pretty all good. good. 
Good. And comfortable and relaxed and ready to enjoy what you got to share with us. Your journey, Jono. We yeah, want well, to yeah. hear your journey. You've been many places. Your father, great champion. You followed in his footsteps. You became a champion. Barbados, Martinique, and you you won champion champion like races in Canada when you win in million dollar races and that kind of stuff. So before you, before you jump into that journey, could you tell me how much pressure as a as starting with your father doing accomplished the amount of accomplishments that he has being the first Barbadian rider to win over a thousand races in Trinidad and you know falling into his footsteps winning I think he won 11 derbies in, in Barbados and another five in Trinidad falling into his footsteps was there a lot of pressure onto you or how did you Handle yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Started not with, started not, it took me a little while to win a race. I was getting called all kinds of things, boy. <laughs> and I see, I see, I see it happen. I seen it happen the same thing with your son too. I think it took your son thirty months before he got his first. Also, yeah, but he he, he would he informed me that he wanted he wanted less races than me. <laughs> <laughs> confidence. That's confidence. That's all like confidence. So this what you mean. <laughs> That that saying that well, from your father's point of view and yours, let's hear about yours. Where, where it started, Sean. To be honest, I I, I I was always around horses from small. I, I always wanted to be a jockey. And that was it. I remember. It, it, it ain't no fancy story. I no, born on I, a horse farm. I raised around horses, correct. and I just end up on horses. I remember as a youngster myself going up to your father's farm in Neil's plantation. I used to, they allowed me to ride a horse called Sail Away. You were a little kid, about four years old, four or five years old. Half your head was bald because you used to pull your hair out. <laughs> Joy, you should have said, said that in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expose the man that much, Sean, man. Come on, man. <laughs> he, 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 dig it, he dig it deep. <laughs> Well, I'm talking the truth. Half your head used to bone. He had his hair and half was missing. He used to pull his hair out. He used to be in the stalls with horses. You used to see him just going in and out of the stalls as a little kid. So you knew from back then that this is going to yeah. evolve yeah. into... They said, there ain't, no, ain't, ain't no fancy fairy tale with me. I born a horse, <laughs> I raised around them, and end up doing it. Okay. You know? At what I is you... when, I was, when I was 11 years old, I was exercising on the race track. Correct, correct. And that's the difference between Canada and Barbados. We do, our, our youngsters do things from very young. By the time we are 20 and 22, 23, we are veterans, veteran jockeys already. Absolutely. And that is the beauty about um, riding the, starting the islands, I would always say, than North America, because we are allowed to, 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 to chase our dreams from very young. And you know, some of us we're born to do it, you know. Yeah. I think I started riding races when I was 14. 14, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> I started at 14 too. So I mean, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. We do it young down here. I'm still in the business doing other things, obviously, but that starts. You know, you, I'm not. <laughs> That's your you're still in the business too because your son is in it. <laughs> My son, yeah. <laughs> but you know, at the same time, your son had a spill last weekend, correct? Yeah. And I mean, from us up here, we hear a lot about that, and we're so close to you as a writer up here. And a lot of guys you did ask the question, How's your son now? Can you tell us more about how he yeah, is and he, stuff like he'll that? He'll be all right. I mean, he, I think he bows his head pretty hard. So the doctor advised not for him not to ride for five weeks. Okay. But other than that, he's fine. He's walking around. He's talking. Just, I guess, mm -hmm. a bit shaken up. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, that's good to hear that the guys up here know that. And we also know that he's supposed to be venturing up here, too, to start his career up here also, bringing his tackle to, to Canada, yeah, too. Yeah, We were coming so, on, the, on the 25th, but because of he just can't ride for, for five weeks, it didn't okay. make sense coming so early. So mm. coming on the 19th of um, May now. Okay. All right, okay. well, that's good. That's good. Well, we're we're looking forward to see him coming up here and 
starting his new venture up here and see if he can do better than his father. How about that? So, <laughs> so I think, but John, have you been canvassing some of those big barns that you won those million dollar races for, for him? Not yet, but I, I will be. What are you waiting for? Uh, I, I'm here, there, there. <laughs> so as soon as I get there, I, I would go oh, see so my you, friends. Oh, so you haven't made any calls as yet? You haven't made no calls to... No, to not, not really, no. ball rolling. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Well, we still want to hear about your journey, though. You know, help us help us to know and understand your first day at the at, at, um, Garrison Savannah on your first horse and the feeling and everything about that that you know that you started off with. Yeah, I mean, obviously, as a as a fourteen year old, it, it was great to be riding for the first time. I think I rode a horse called Gin and Ginger it was my first ride. Oh Lord! And um, yeah. I didn't do so well. Took me a little while to win a race. I eventually uh -huh. won an apprentice race for Les Dean, actually. Uh -huh. And that was my first winner. And, and what about, um? I mean, you, you, you started, I think, when you start winning, you just, you didn't stop, though. You know, uh, yeah, well, you know, once you start winning, it starts happening. Yes. I won a few races, then I went to Trinidad, I won a race, and then... Came back here and I think my tenth or twelfth race I won the Derby. But that's what I'm trying to say. You won Derbies, yeah. not one Derbies. Yeah. Well, you were yeah. crowned. You were crowned apprentice champion in '91, right? At 15, yeah. right, correct? Correct. Okay. So you also win your first Derby as an apprentice, also. Yeah. Wow. Mm. All right. Wow. Well, and later some more. And then from there, where, where did you go from there then? That, you, the next year I went to England, actually. I went to Newmarket for the, okay. for the summer. Okay. Uh -huh. I spent most of the summer there. Yes. What was that like? That was nice. Different. Mm -hmm. Different, for sure. And who was the trainer you were attracted, um, attended to? Who were you tied into? Yeah, it was with Sir Michael Stout. Oh, dear. It was very nice to take me in. and um, I mean, I learned a lot. I learned a lot being there for that year. Yes. I actually came home that summer. Yes. And won the derby for, for, for his father. What Nathan there? Stout. Great. Um, so that'd be 92, I think. Yes, yes. Won the derby win some last that year. Well, that was a bit of a it ran second and the winner got disqualified. Okay. So, well, a win is a win. You take your win where however it comes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so wait, so after I know you had win two titles in Martinique, correct? Or one? To be honest, I'm not even sure, Leroy, but I used to do, I used to win a lot of races down there. Okay, from what I was reading in 94 and 95, you were in, Mar you win two titles in Martinique, from what I was reading. Well, that that was after England or before? No, that would be after. England was... After England. 90, 92. 92 was England. Oh, 92 was England, so you came... Okay, yeah. all right. And then 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 how much... Um, Did you win a, a, a title as a journeyman too, or... Here? Yeah, how many titles you win as a journeyman yes, in Barbados? Then, um, right, so I rode from like then till about '97, and I think I went a little bit wayward, and I came back in '98. I think I won the championship either '98 or '99. Then I went to Canada in 2000. <laughs> so when you say wayward, explain that. Come on now. <laughs> that's, that's, what was with I got heavy. Thing? You got, I got heavy. You got yeah. heavy. My, my weight started to get out of control. Don't ask me why. Oh, okay. Um. We, we we really don't want to hear any lies, so we won't ask you why. Paul, Sean, we're trying to say the man like the feet up too much? They like the feet up, they like clubs. Oh, okay. okay. Like the good life, the good life, the good life. The good life. The good life. You have, you're having a little too much fun. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So what brought you back to reality to realize that you got to get this... No, you gotta get this thing going, man. Tell me. I, yeah. Well, it started diet, diet, and think properly. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually met with my, my Sarah, who I ended up marrying, and she put me on a diet, and we got back, and the weight got back going good. And then 98, 99, it was going very well. I actually, writing yes. a lot for March at the time. Uh -huh. And then Patrick met me and, and told me that I got to come out of Canada. And um, mm -hmm. 
I think I actually got the lawyer's number from Brett Callahan and Brett yeah. got hold of him and he hooked it up and that was that. You know, Patrick um, always said that you were underrated right in Barbies. You didn't get you didn't get you know the recognition that you deserve. Patrick always says that about you. Yeah. So for me, sure he's who encouraged me to go to Canada. That that, that he can tell you. Well, thank God he did because we got mm -hmm. to see you do some um you know some great things up here for us up here as you know as barbadian guys seeing you right in the print i know you got had a lot of fans in Barbados. you need falling from your father and then you're in your father's footsteps and then you're coming up here doing it you know yeah, i guess yeah. coming up really when, and when i got to canada i guess a bunch of guys were there before me that the agents were, were, were well known you know so when yes. I got yeah. there, being the every champion and just wanted to go cut that year and whatever whatever so let's sail, let's sail from right off the bat, you know. Yeah, let's go back a little bit to Barbados a little bit though. Which would be your most memorable goal cap? <laughs> you mean you want to enjoy the most or the most memorable? Well, <laughs> or, <laughs> one or or the other. The, the, the first one was obviously the most memorable because I get knocked out. Oh, oh you did. <laughs> okay, knock out. And what? Explain that knockout. <laughs> After the race, I, I punched the air and the horse ducked out a little bit. And I ended up in a bit of a tangle with some horses behind me. Wow. So you never made it back in the winner's circle, you're saying? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think... I had a general think... show for about two weeks. You got you got knocked out on the gallop out? Yeah, probably about 10 yards after the wire. <laughs> I think I think it's time for Brett to show that, vict that victory. Come in, Brett. Of all the boys, you can show that one. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we got all three gold cups. Here's the 2010. 1,000 gold cup is underway. The Sandy Lane gold cup underway. They've got a mile to run. And with regard is the early leader. Peace Envoy is up early, so to Federico. These three have it together as they come with a mile pole, and they have that to go. It is Peace Envoy who shows in front down the... And they turn for home for the first time. It is Peace Envoy at a really good clip. Then comes in the second rank we have with regard. Royal Mile is there. Janak down on the inner going smoothly. Federico. Then Blast of Storm is in behind these. Kirov Lady goes smoothly. Bobby's Dream and Kefek is the trail around the top turn. 24 and 2 for the quarter. They've got six furlongs to run. And the leader is Peace Envoy down on the inner. Length and a half clear of Federico who goes nicely. With regard is on a tight hold a half back. Then about a length and a half back comes, on the outside comes Royal Mile. Between horses comes Janak. Then the, the, uh, then the next one through is Bobby's Dream. The trailer at the moment is Kirov Lady. They've got four to run and they start the uphill climb. It is Peace Envoy with regard. Here comes Blast of Storm getting into it on the outside. Down on the inside, Janak. Bobby's Dream goes well, so too does Kefek. Uh, Royal Mile has lost some ground. Kirov Lady is the trailer. They come over the top of the hill with about two and a half to run. It is now Blast of Storm and, and tackling Peace Envoy is still down on the rail. These two have it together. Blast of Storm now sticks his head in front. Peace Envoy fights back. They've got a couple lengths back to Janak, who's still in it. Then comes with regard, Bobby's Dream. The others are out of it. They turn for home. It is Blast of Storm, who now comes to... Gets a stick on the outside. Janak is not out of this at all. They turn for home. It is Blast of Storm. Here comes Janak. Down on the inside, Peace Envoy. But Blast of Storm being ridden out violently, absolutely, by Jonathan Jones. He's going very wide on the outside, and he comes to the line, but he's wandering all over the track. Blast of Storm wins it by a length and a half from Janak. Then about two lengths back to Peace Envoy on the inside. The next one through is, and they've had a fall. Oh, a couple of horses have gone down. With regard is one of them, and that one's unfortunately looks to be damaged. And, but that was a blast of storm who went wide, and Jonathan Jones is down on the ground as well, holding his head. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> you not only created history by winning the Goka, you created history by not making it back to the winner's circle by enjoying it. <laughs> he made it back two more times in I 2001 and could not two. See, um, the video, so that's not a bad thing anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see the other gold cups that, that he has won also. Storm goes in. The starter puts them under orders on a straightaway. They're racing over 1800 meters. The 220th running of the Gold Cup is on its way. Unchallenged goes on to the lead very early on the inside. Propane is right there. Up on the outside, Peace on Boy. Black Sage Ali shows early on the outside as well. Janak following those. Blast of Storm is well settled on the outside of those. Then comes uh, Janak behind that. 
Adawars towards back punch with uh, Father Murphy, City of Lights, and Captain Blind. That's the way they come down the home stretch for the first time. It's Zwick that goes on to the lead. Zwick from Unchallenged and Peace and Boy together. On the outside is Blast of Storm. Between horses is another decision. Adawar on the inside with Ram Sammy riding tight. Father Murphy right there. Black Sage Ali on the outside wide of four. Then on the inside, City of Lights, Captain Bly. Past the five and a half. It's Zwick on a lead by three from Unchallenged. Peace and Boy on the outside. Then comes Propane on the inside. And as they continue their journey up the back, Zwick still going very well on Challenge and Peace Envoy cruising on the bridle. Another three lengths back to Blast of Storm. Propane on the inside, another decision out Why Adawa, who suffered at the bottom bed, has a lot of work to do. Captain Bly well out of it, and so too City of Lights. And Black Sage Alley is beaten as they race with three to go in the Gold Cup. Peace Envoy, the old winner, comes up to show his form, and he takes over from Stable Companion unchallenged. They're three lengths clear of Adawa, and in fact, uh, on the inside, Blast of Storm. Uh, behind uh, these, uh, behind uh, Zwick uh, these, is out uh, with two to go in the Gold Cup. Peace and Boy on Challenge, and here comes Jono Jones on. Last of Storm, Johnny for home, in front of a crowd of the garrison Savannah. Blast of Storm, brings them into the stretch. On Challenge on the inside, Peace and Boy books the third. Behind these, Captain Blythe's Zwick, and another decision running. Blast of Storm, he's got this Jono Jones, got this Jono Jones, and he's 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 got this all right no that was better <laughs> uh, at, at least I learned from mistakes, huh? <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think I ever did that again, man. <laughs> but the good thing, the, what 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 I'm going to talk about now, Donna, is your third win with this horse, Blast of Storm. And well, you, I remember you know about that good Sean, because yes. that was the second when he came up to Canada. Yes. And you were helping Bill yes. with that at that time. With him in Canada. Yes. Yes and yes and yes. And he ran two Lord very have good mercy. He ran, two, he ran two very good races. Yes. And um Yeah. We were begging we were begging Bill to run him in the state race. You remember? Correct. We begged Bill, he said, I built a camera. I'm going back home. Get away. I don't I don't I don't Correct. like this place. Huh? I'm just grumbling and <laughs> but what I remember most of all, I remember John told me, Sean, I don't like how this horse is feeling. And if you could get one, my vets look at him. I remember that. Yeah. I got on the horse and I could see he was hitchy behind. He was moving right behind. I got Leah Guitar to do some work on him. She did some brilliant work. I got on him first and I said, John, tell me what you think now. John said, Lord. He used to feel like a Toyota, you know, he feel like a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, he, he had the work done or whatever, then he went back home. I don't know if anybody ever treated him before the go Cup. But he never raced yes. before the next go Cup, huh? That's right. I think he did. That's he right. Ran straight, uh, ran he went straight into the, from the layer from Canada straight into the go Cup. Yeah. Yes. I know, oh. I know. You know who he beat? Who? Oh. Remember who? My I train, next horse, which I, I mean, anyway. I, I train Worley. Right, man, let's ask yeah. I trained Wally and all when when John of Flash played past the poor beating me and all of it says, I wonder if I didn't help him do that work. <laughs> would, he, would, he, would he be a thorn in my side right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big if <laughs> <laughs> But you know what I mean? I mean it was it was a, a masterful training job by Bill Marshall because as John said he didn't race. And he came straight into that race, and I just he just killed everybody. I mean, that was brilliant. Brett, roll the roll the thing, Brett, roll the thing. Correct. Correct. <laughs> As they come towards the mile pole, it is Nicodemus on the inside that shows front another decision third. It is Nicodemus and then Skeets Bay there. Uh, then on the outside of that is Airy Hill. They come down towards the chute for the first time. 
and it is the Creole Nicodemus. Down the shoot for the first time, and it is Nicodemus and Skeets Bay, another decision on the inside. Then Airy Hill, Wally tucked in, making ground, then talk about lucky blast of storm coming up on the inside, so to Wahoo. But wide on the outside as they go around the turn, it is Airy Hill. The trailer at the moment is New Millennium, who got out very badly. The first quarter is in 24 and 2. Is a five and a half to run? It is Nicodemus, another decision, blast of storm. Then on the outside is Wally. Then between horses going nicely is Wahoo. Then talk about Lucky. And uh, then, then Adawa still at the back. And then uh, pulled up is Skeets Bay. And then uh, last of all is New Millennium. They go with four furlongs to run. And the leader on the inside is Nicodemus, but Wally now tackles him to go on. The third place horse is Blast of Storm. Another decision still on a tight hold. Wahoo been asked to go, but they reach the top of the hill. And it is still Nicodemus and Wally, but Wally looks very comfortable in front. Blast of Storm beginning to catch him. But it is the three of these as they come back to the quarter mark. And it is, it is Wally who goes, but Blast of Storm is rolling him up as they come to the past the quarter mark. They got a furlong and a half to go. Nicodemus is third. Talk about Lucky is trying, but it's between the first two as they come from home. Half husband to Jonathan Jones, and here comes Blast of Storm. Inside the final furlong, in the inside is Airy Hill, but Blast of Storm drawing away from Airy Hill. The third horse on the outside is talk about Lucky Storm Hunter, but Blast of Storm is going to make it three in a row, and does now. Blast of Storm wins it by half a length from Wally. Then the next one through is talk about Lucky Storm Hunter, Wahoo Nicodemus, who ran his heart out, danced numerous, Adawa. Then comes Airy Hill. Uh, the next one through is... <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. Being here in Canada and sitting back and watching those gold caps, the crowd and everything, it just gets you excited all over again. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just want to mention in a note, one of our viewers, Al Adamson, said no. He raced in Barbados. I believe this is Blast of Storm. No, he raced in Barbados before the third gold cup and lost twice to talk about Lucky. Then he won the third gold cup. Okay. And that's right. him talking about Lucky, isn't your Your dad didn't breed that horse, John? No, no, no. That, that was a horse that belonged to Robert Oh, yeah. okay. 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 Nice, Philly. Oh, it's, are you talking to me that your dad breed what, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and talking about the, um, the that horse won the Derby. How much Triple Crowns did you end up winning in Barbados Derbies? I think only one with Insta Dallas. One? And this Incitatus, but your dad won two because from what what I'm seeing here, Triple Crown winners written by John o. Jones was um the Incitatus, and are you talking? He was also a Triple Crown winner. Yeah, I, ne I never rode him though. Oh, you never rode him. Oh, okay. No. I mean, I won the Derby. I won the Derby. One, two, three, four times for my for my father. Okay. And then once a bill. So and I won five times. How many of those horses your father bred and owned? He bred. I don't think he owned any of them at the time, but he definitely bred. Well, between him and Jean Louis, they were going to bred Zarmella. I ain't sure who the exact breeder was, but they came from the farm, and he had Zarmella and Citadas. <clears throat> um, overdraft, I think. Okay, because we want people to know that part of your journey was that your father was a great breeder, and you were part of that too, right? Because you also rode a lot of those horses. Well, breeder you know? and trainer. And and trainer, and trainer. yeah. yeah. When you start riding, I was in Canada, so I didn't get to see a lot, a lot of you riding. So, yeah. I mean, even myself, I'm learning things about you as as I as I go on on the show, also. So, you know, I me, mean, I want the audience out there to help see, you know, and understand, you know, your journey, not just what it, we saw here in Canada, where we saw in Barbados, too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, a lot so, of good horses came from from that farm. That's for sure. Yeah, and I know yeah. we had a we had a lot of good blood, like in Barbados. But how do you want the best? I saw had one. She was in a show that y'all had on before. I think the show with Emmy and Emmy won the, the gold cup with Stan Grey Park. Okay. Which which horse is that? Paddy Bird. Paddy Bird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, she was great. Yes. She was, yeah, she was nice. in 1986. So yes. I want you to also you know, let, let, let everybody out there know, you know, the great horses that you've been around also as a kid and your, your dad that had, um, you know, bred. A lot. A lot too many to talk. talk. <laughs> but I saw him in all those days too. In those days, we used to go. I was only like a kid, 11, maybe 12. And they yeah. would pack up a, a plane and, and head to Trendale for the Christmas meet. A whole, yes. a whole yes. bunch of horses, huh? Yes. Wow. Yes. 
Wow. You spent a Christmas in Trinidad, John. Didn't yeah, we? Paddy Bird, Sugar Spice, all his horses was a club before it was even right in. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Not only Trinidad, Martinique also. Yeah. Go ahead. Those are but good old days. Kind of, that kind yeah. of stuff. When they started to ride very few horse, well, we used to go for the Derby every now and again. Yeah, we're doing the show. But that, that stopped happening quite a bit. I don't remember many horses going to Martinique or Trinidad. Mm. In my, well, yeah, I rode a Trinidad Derby with a couple of Bajan mm-hmm. horses, but not a lot. Okay. Um, Brent, could you could you let uh, I got some person calling and asking there, they're trying to get onto the show, Brent. So, so could you direct them to the show for me, Brent, please? Sure, so no we problem. Have audience, so they're trying to get into the show and they're not able to get into it. All you need Peter, to go I got is Peter to our Gaskin. Facebook page. Our Facebook page has links on it to both the live feed on Facebook, um, the URL to catch up with Sean Hall on Facebook is at the bottom of our screen, facebook.com forward slash Sean Hall Journeys. And it's also on YouTube. I will post some links that people can easily get on from there. Yeah, Let me know if you Brett, continue Brett. to have any issues, right. guys. Okay. That's, that's why we got Brett, the tech guy, the tech guy. <laughs> <laughs> Go to YouTube and, and launch on all space, on all journeys. Yeah. But sorry, for disturbing, yeah. sorry for disturbing the show, guys. We got on it, so they're trying to get on, and we can't. We, I got to help them out where we can. We want our people watching us. Yes. So, Go ahead, Sean. That's sorry, for well sorry for the interruption. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> 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 John, what yes, I want to find for you because winning Gold Cups in Barbados, winning Queen's Pit in Canada, which give you the most joy, most pleasure, most uh, feeling of goodness? Tell me, boy. <laughs> Obviously, at the time it was the Gold Cups, but then you know, winning Queen's Pit was quite big, it was big too, huh? Was, was it the money? Was it the money, the million dollars <laughs> made it better? <laughs> No, you know where you're riding. You want you want to win the biggest race where you're riding. Prestige yes. is the prestige. And yes. it was always I always like big races, and that's the biggest race. Well, one of the biggest races in Canada. So, yes, yeah, you but want be- to win it, right? Before yes, get, right? but I mean, when what happened in, in 2004? Barbados, before that, winning the derbies. Uh huh. You know, big races are big races. Right. So in other words, they it- are. However, they are. In, 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 how much, how like, much what, the money is worth? The biggest race in, in the track right now. How much yeah. is worth is, is, is what makes it right. Right. So, in other words, then, like the Derby, when you first did that, the Derby thing was like good for you. Then the Gold Cup came around. That was like a different level of goodness. Correct. Then you. Well, I mean, as you guys know, y'all just saw on the TV there. Even mm-hmm. before when they won the Gold Cup, the Gold Cup in Barbie, the crowd is crazy. Right. But that's that what I'm meaning. I mean, you don't get in Canada, but right. I, 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 that's what I was trying to get out of you, though. Like the yeah. feeling of of how the crowds and Barbies react to yeah. when you win a Gold Cup compared to in North America. Yeah. You're just going there, the parade ring, and then it's like nothing happened. Like you, it yeah. was a, this big thing, and then boof, you know, it's like it's done. <laughs> For sure. Well, the crowd is so far away. Even though the Queen's Bay is big, they have lots of people. Yes. Is that far away that you don't actually feel the vibe until yes after the race kind of thing? Okay, okay, okay. Well, Where's before we get before we get to our go- before we get to our Queen splits and stuff like that, Jono, when you came to Canada, you won your very first race as as you rode, sure. and you remember? Could you remember that and remember the trainer and the horse and stuff like that? I if you can't can remember, remember the name of the horse, but it was for Audrey Capacetti. Yeah. Something Annie's, Annie's, Annie's Creek, Annie's, Annie's, Annie's Creek, like Annie's Creek, Annie's Creek. Yeah, yeah. yeah Annie's yeah. Creek. You were I remember see. watching. I remember watching that race, and I would never. I mean, you went to front with a loose line, loose, yeah. loose, yeah. loose, stand up tall. If you, I don't know. I said, I said, what's this? What's this guy doing? That's what. That's, and, that's what he was. That you couldn't lose if you tried. <laughs> 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 right. As you say, as you say, it goes and get right horse in your own race. Yeah. <laughs> but I would never forget. But he was right with this loose line, and when he got he top of the lane, you just did some crosses, and this horse to call for if it was not breaking out the gates again. Yeah, yeah. And I said, "Wow, 
I said that's that's a that's a great way to start. <laughs> I remember that man. Yeah. And and the thing about it was I remember when you first came to Canada, you were in the parade ring with leading in horses with me with, with Patrick. I remember those days also. Yeah, got, yeah. Correct. Because I, I didn't have I, any paperwork, so I was up there just yeah for, for a month or so just 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 hanging around really. Yeah, helping me lead in horses. Correct. You were still, you were really still cool going, there too. You were yeah. still going back and forth too, though, right? Because you were still going back, coming right, and then coming back up too, right? No, no. I, I, I was there, and then I had to leave to go to um, New York to get my, my, my Canadian papers. Yes. So I just went across the border for a week or so, and I came back, and then I could ride from then. No, but from from because from what I'm reading, after you won that race with um, I'll just have to say that was in May of 2001, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then you still went back home and you know you won the gold cup in, in 2002 and 2003. Yeah, we in Mar that was in March. I used to come home for the winters. You get you came, oh, okay, you just came home for the winters. Yeah, I would spend the back. whole summer and okay. go back in December, like what Patrick does every year or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So well, so since we Yeah, since ahead, we're show. here now. Let, let's let's show a a, a Queen's plate ring. Roll the thing, what? Brett. <laughs> Queen's plate, Queen's plate. Oh. <laughs> Waiting. On not bourbon, and to the outside, Sebastian Song, and took the time, will complete this Queen's Plate field. They're at the post. They're off in the Queen's Plate. From the outside, took the time and Sebastian Song showing early speed in between horses. His shadowless and deep flutes aggressive to the inside as a crush of runners move in front of us for the first time. And it's deep flutie on the inside with Emil Ramsamy. Shadowless to attend the pace in second. Dylan's choice and on hold in third position. Then we have Not Bourbon who's tucked in nicely in a fourth end to the outside of not bourbon is a took the time. Then we have deputy farmer who saves ground through the first turn. Ginger brew is tucked in behind runners back about five lengths off the lead. Then Sebastian song, a ground saving silver Jag, then East end tap and Palmer's followed by mama's night. Jungle brew is second to last and solitaire is 14th. The half was in 47 and three. It's a reasonable pace, and it's D. Flutie on the front end. Toward the inside, Dylan's a choice is second, just a half a length behind. Shadowless is just off the leaders in third. Not Bourbon relaxed out there in fourth. To the inside, Mama's Night is in the fifth position. Ginger Brew is sixth and four and a half lengths off the lead. Then we have Took the Time, Silver Jag, East End Tap, Sebastian Song, Palmer's. Then uh, Mama's Night, two more back there. Jungle Brew Solitaire is still 14th. Three quarters and 13 and two. And it's D Foodie. And here comes Not Bourbon. And here comes the Philly Ginger Brew as they come to the top of the stretch. A stampede at the top of the lane in the Queen's Plate. And it's Not Bourbon who's set down by Jono Jones. The Philly Ginger Brew trying desperately to catch Not Bourbon. Jono Jones pleading with Not Bourbon for one more 16th. Ginger Brew is surging. Not Bourbon guts it out and wins the 149th running of the Queen's Plate. Yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> that is right. But no, just... Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's my talking about. No, to, to, to be honest with you, that um, 
that, that with the training feet, that horse does, does not want to go not a foot that's, more than a mile. Huh? They did say that up there. You know what, John? I remember about that day, that no, morning, a mile. That, that morning of the race. I saw Roger took that horse on the track and work him a quarter. The morning mm. of that race, I can believe it. When I saw it for the first time, this horse is going on the track and work a quarter that morning. And I know if John knows he was, me. Sprint, he, was he was sharp, he was he was didn't let me relax. Roger mm -hmm. did a magnificent job with him in yeah, that race. What, what, a, what a training job he did with that horse, man. But you guys sure. are jumping, you guys are jumping the gun here a little bit on me, you know, because John rode in the Queen Smith before that with that horse a bit of gold and got a oh second. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, John. I didn't mean to do this to you. But you guys are but, jumping but again a little. Go to the race. Obviously, no, we're, we're not. We're not going to show. You have that race, Brent? No, we, we only have the race. breeders. Don't worry, but we embarrass you about that race. But <laughs> you guys are jumping no, the gun here on me, Sean. That, that Go ahead. Give us a story. Give us the story. Because when we first got up there, obviously, Tom. Tom was. was I was doing well. Tom has helped me with everybody. Everybody. Well, we had some Bajan grooms that used to work for Catherine. Yeah. Yes. Bajan, you know, and he, yeah. He's, he's who got me in that bar. He told Catherine, I got to give this boy some rice. Yes. And everything I sat on the bar, we did good. Until no. that next year, we no. had those good horses. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, but no, I mean, but. I, know, I know he did finish second. He got beat in the, in the plate. But that horse also went on to win the second and the third leg of the Triple Crown, didn't he? I would have to say he's the best horse I've ridden. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. Cause he can run on grass, dirt, poly track, anything. Anything. He ended up winning wow. over two or three million dollars in, in one all kind of stakes, grade two all kind of stakes up there. Yes. Wow, man! A lot, of, I... a lot of races on the grass. So, which of the two horses were you really in tune to? It you really loved. Which two? But he, um, just said, he just said that your best horse one of the best horses you ever ridden, John. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 he was. Yeah, yeah so, he just said that I, I would say him as Jambalaya with Catherine like Jam were two of the best grass horses. Right, but I was going to say sure. the comparison between Jambalaya and, and a bit of, bit of gold. Or well, Jambalaya types. was grass. A bit of gold yeah. could run on anything. Okay, yeah. so yeah. He's, he got the nod. He got the nod. Yeah. Great, great, great. Somebody's talking about the Saratoga win with Jambalaya in 2005. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How was that? Yeah, yeah. yeah that was obviously fantastic too. Saratoga. Yeah. yeah. Tell I mean, me some more. Been there, you know. Yes, the spa. The spa. That's like a Caribbean track. People, people there right under the track from morning. Yes. Watching horses training and thing is a, a yes. lovely experience. Wow. And to win my first ride there was 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 definitely was a happy guy. Great, 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 great. Oh. Donald, how many breeder stakes that you end up winning, Donald? You went for Catherine Day twice, and correct, and one for for, for Roger also. F correct, yeah, yeah. So Jambalaya, bit That's of gold, really, yeah. and perfect shower. Uh, perfect. Who was the horse name? Perfect shower. Yeah, perfect shower. Correct. Yeah. What I want to know about Jono is your relationship mm -hmm. with the great Roger Atfield. He was here on this show. We had a great time. Yeah, that was a governor boy. He was, I mean, <laughs> he, governor. He, listen, the guy came on sipping some red wine. I told him if he was here with John Jones, he'd be having a different beverage. We certainly have drunk a few together. <laughs> a few rums? Yeah, he's top, top, top. Yes, so top guy, top guy, top trainer, top human being. Great yeah, human being. Great. One great, of the best, great. man. You know what I love right. about him, Jono? Having a horse ready to go a mile and 16 for the first time. That was what impressed me with, about Mr. Affield. Oh, yeah, you get yeah. it done, man. All right. And just like you say, not bourbon. That horse wasn't, they said he couldn't get over seven eights, right? Or, or so. Yeah, those, guys in, those guys have been in the business for a long time, huh? They know this stuff. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. And, and, yes. And, and also very, very um, realistic with, with it also, huh? Yes. <laughs> So when a horse done bad, you don't got you don't got to get a bullshit story. They know, they know. Yeah. So a question for you: You know, in the paddock, you're going to paddock with a lot of trainers, and you get instructions from a lot of trainers, right? Who would you say one of the trainers that you rode for when you go in the paddock that you were most impressed with? Let you go and ride your race. A, 
according to your job, according to your job, Leroy, uh-huh. everybody who just wants a picture. <laughs> well so said. Well said. Say, say no more. Say no more. Say no more. Everybody likes to win a circle, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Don't care how it gets done, long as it wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say, say, say no more. <laughs> and, and talking about my job, you and him had a couple of rivalries and, you know, ding down battles before. How much was that? To you, how much how much that meant to you with you guys, and then be able to talk about it the next day over a, a cold glass or a glass with something in it. Yeah, well, rivalry. I mean, every jockey has their, their thing, but we were we were also great friends from from little boys. So well, that, that's what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. And speak a little bit about it that. Was, it was more of a helpful rivalry, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, yes. So As you guys, that, uh, I would never do anything to cost him a race, and he would the same here. Yeah, so mm-hmm. how much would you guys bounce a lot of stuff off each other? Let's 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 get a little bit into that there then. Because I mean you guys grew up together mm-hmm. and Patrick was saying like even do it without even doing it, we used to do it. We would just have mm-hmm. conversations and and just slip something in there. Because <laughs> 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 interesting to know that Patrick always, you know, say like uh, your your home is like his home, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So things like that, you know. So let it let them know there how much how close you guys were, what a, a knit you guys were together. I mean, and Sean. Can say a lot about it because a lot of you guys well, together. This, this is the question I want to find out. This is what I want to find out, John Jones. John, John, John Jones. This is what I want to find out. <laughs> when you started doing well and you were sharing the same agent, and the same goes two more rats can live in the same hole. How did that affect your relationship with Patrick Husbands? Tell me. To be honest with you, never did. Never, never, not, not even in the slightest. So Patrick when... just decided that it wasn't working done with Tom <laughs> or left or whatever. But it was me just and business. Patrick never, never business. had a discussion about it. It was just business. You serious? That's yeah. just, it was just like that? Tom, just, he just left? Well, he never had a discussion. I guess Patrick figured that whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what, if Patrick left or Tom. I don't know what happened. I went by the next year and, and it was just done. Wow. And they never really questioned it, to be honest. Wow. Wow. That that's a wow to me. I didn't realize it was so it was such a catch. Yeah, no, sure between me and Patrick know, was never an issue. You never you never always listen to pink people say, right? Because you know, being John and, and Patrick were very close knit guys, people might yes. say different things, you know what I mean? Yes, of course. And you can't Don't always forget. listen to that. So and as John was living in Patrick basement, you know. Well, there you go. Yes. So now John was clarifying things that you wanted to know, Sean. Yes, of course. The second year when I came by, started doing good. He said, "Well, you make enough money, time to move up now." Put me out. Put me out. I actually moved in by Brett. <laughs> yes, he <you> did. <laughs> 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 oh Lord, you're like <laughs> what did I hear right just now? I took him in, man. <laughs> you took him in. <laughs> sure. But you guys still remain great friends and doing great things together as and, and, and stick stick together, right? Yeah, but John, I just want to ask you a question. Now, this that that picture behind you there, there's, you can see a picture with a horse there. Is that a win in Barbados or a win up here? Oh no, that was a, that was a nice horse. I was a right up there called my Vintage Port. I think it won. One, um, she won a nice grass stick too. She won the, the the I think it was the equivalent of the um the, the female grass race. Or the, the, classic, the, triple the classic tiara, the triple tiara, the Bison City, or the grass. What was the grass race called? The Bison City, right? I think she won that. Yeah. Okay. Oh. No, the Bison City was the one in Fort Erie. She won after that. That's the beauty about when you when you when you're done such great things. It's it's hard to remember the greatness of, of life. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was a nice filly, though. She was a nice horse. Uh, and that was, that was I think that was the first first or second year I was there too. And who who trained who trained her? A gentleman by the name of Ken Parsley. Ken Parsley, okay. Yeah. Mm. She went, I think she went on to throw a good horse too. I'm not even sure. Okay. Well.
But let us let us yeah. run the, the, the track for the jambalaya. Let's let's keep the ball rolling. With this greatness of races. It's not actually not the jambalaya race we have. We have the okay. bit of goal. They're at the post. They're off in the breeder stakes. Strike them hard toward the inside and on the outside burst of a fire. A bit of gold is in contention early along with his uh, smoothness and silver ticket and that red cap on the far outside as they make their way up to the back stretch. That incline up to the back stretch and burst of fire dictates the pace. A bit of gold is second. His smoothness on the outside third. Then Cavins Elaine. Silver ticket is uh, right there as well. On the outside is a witness of this. And they sweep up to the back stretch about to uh, make that hairpin turn into the back stretch and loose on the lead is burst of fire burst of fire leads by five a bit of gold is second his smoothness third a silver ticket is in the fourth position strike him hard is to the inside fifth then we have a cavens elaine lone arrows out of trouble back seven lengths off the lead down toward the rail is hunt the rainbow alongside of that one is a lord a carmen uh, then uh, farther back to a uh, rainbows uh, for luck and witness this as they continue along the back stretch the opening half mile was in 48 and four three quarters and 14 flat burst of fire still in front a bit of gold his smoothness silver ticket and the red cap is out there three wide as they head toward the far turn strike them hard in striking distance back five lengths off the lead then a uh, lord carmen uh, Cavens Lane, Lone Arrow on the outside, then Hunt the Rainbow, Rainbows uh, for Luck, and uh, trailing as witness this tight group though, just eight and a half lengths separates this field with three eights to go, and it's burst of fire, a bit of gold, looms the danger, a powerful presence to the flank, a burst of fire, Silver Ticket is there, strike them hard, they hit the quarter pull, burst of fire. Trying to go it all the way on the front end. A bit of gold is set down from the outside as they come to the final eighth of a mile. And a bit of gold has come away with the lead. Burst of fire, silver ticket on the outside. And they're coming down to the line. A bit of gold and Jono Jones. A bit of gold and Jono Jones to win the breeder stakes. Finishing second was burst of fire and silver ticket was third. Another great winner. Another yes. great winner, yes. Yes. Yeah. Just to add, um, Catherine mm -hmm. was also a fantastic coach. Remember something Bill always okay. told me when we, was, me and Bill, we spent a lot of time together. Anybody could take a horse and win a race, but when you have a good horse and yes. to keep it consistently winning, that, that's what a good trainer is. Yes, yes, correct. And I agree with, with that. Both of those horses, Catherine had those horses, spot on. I don't think that horse. Run out the money four times in its life. Mm -hmm. mm. But no, 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 but you have ridden so much great horses in Canada. Any other standouts that you could tell us about? It was another nice horse too that got hurt. I think he won a couple of stakes and then he got hurt. Leonardo Antius. Yep, ended up being yes, a pretty good yes. stallion, I believe. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. Um, Kevin Eckhart ended up training him. 
he was a novel horse. He was one of your favorites. A novel yes, horse, he right? First start in a state. Can we run him in a state first time when he won? Yes, yes, yes. he was a nice horse. He came back and he won again. He was he was a good horse, and then he stood up on a piece of wire or something. I can't remember what it was, but he actually could not run. They're not running the plate. Missed the plate. Missed the whole wow. series, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Because had something wrong with his with his foot, and then we went, took him somewhere to run in in um in the states and ran third. In some race yeah. in the states, came in Louisiana Derby or something. Okay. Okay. Wow. I I have a fun, I got a funny joke today with you. You and your agent were going to Saratoga to ride a horse in Saratoga, and at the border, I guess when the guys at the border had asked you um what you're going to do, and you see you're going to ride. Do you remember this story? And I guess the guy was asked about betting on the horse, and you told him house and land or something like that. You remember? You can tell us that story. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the you, something they say. I know. Last time I was going to ride a horse. And but I the got, funny thing about the it, the horse finished last, right? That's why you let you know if you didn't remember the story. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you mind not living in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, agent, your agents had asked you, now how are we gonna get back home now? They might not let us back in. <laughs> Another time I was going to ride a horse for um for Lane Gilliford, and they won't let me over. <laughs> I had oh, no. a call, Christian Forty. I'm begging to go cover me. <laughs> I'll pick you up. <laughs> wow yeah we go through some stuff over there people don't really understand man mm -hmm. it's not it's not a bed of roses i can tell you that no so a lot of talkies ride a lot of great horses right Jono? but we have claiming races in canada and i know you've been a few of them yourself can you remember any good claimers that you, you enjoy riding i'm a, what a good one that, that ended up being a stakes horse too um Who's chris that? is a bad boy Chris is bad. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you remember that horse? Okay. Fast at yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And he came, that was my, my man Vito Amada. He came yes. from uh, yes. claiming ranks down in Fort Erie and thing, and winning all kind of state races. Yes, yes. yes. I remember good him. Trainer. That's a good trainer you're talking about there too. He he, he did some things last year. Was kind of shocking, you know. Yeah. That's my coach, man. <laughs> and, and, and man. <laughs> and he's still there plugging away. He's still there plugging away. Son had a great horse last year too. You know that he did good good with also. So that's one of the horses you can see as a, a claimer that you that move from a claim into up to stake races. But yeah, one right. that's well, I, I didn't get on him until later on, but when I got on him, we won like a bunch of races, five mm -hmm. or six races, maybe. Okay. So saying that though, but it's and, and can you pick another horse that didn't go to that you know to that level of races as a claimer, but stayed in claiming that you really enjoyed riding? You know, some <laughs> I I I I got a call Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so your memory just as bad as is 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 by um is Sean then. <laughs> that's what happened. That what happened when you fall too often in your head. You know, I mean, eventually when it gets. But he's a young guy still, though. I mean, well, they had a few. I mean, yeah. Because you to be know, honest with you, I, I I used to focus more on the young horses and the big races and things. So two year olds then. So 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 pick a, a nice two year that you that you did ride that you know that you enjoy because I know some guys as trainers and grooms and stuff you, you, the horse might not be a, a, a state horse or nothing but you got that horse that you enjoy being around and he just goes out and try all the time or he's a cheap oh, horse yeah. oh, you yeah. know what I mean for sure could you, could you call or find a, one of those horses and and talk about him first but you, mm. you need to, you need to make a phone call to Sean to, to, to Tom man. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Um, I'm thinking, thinking because they're, they're, they're they they got to be one or two. Because you win a few races, you a good you win over what 600 something races in Canada, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but the um, mm. he, won, he won a lot of sticks too, man. He won a bunch of sticks. I, I, I know, I know he did. He did. I'm, I'm well, for my calculation, is 658 races he win in win up here, right? Mm. The um, the um. Boy, I can't remember here. Over over five five thousand and something starts and over forty million dollars in earnings. Yes. Yes. Horses. Yeah. That's good. But Jono, wasn't I can't, actually I can't remember that, Leroy, to be honest. You can't remember okay. that, the names of the horses no. right off like that. That were that were that I used to really enjoy writing as claimers. Mm -hmm. Um 
Okay, since remember Jerry... someone, but I can't remember the names. That's the thing. Okay, don't don't stray, don't stray. Greg had one that was nice. That Greg had a, tr a trier. That every time it came out, it ran, bam, bam. It was try his hard out. That's a hard mm -hmm. knocker. One of those yeah. hard knockers. Hmm. That was my LMA man in my stock up, huh? Oh, Greg, Greg, Greg again. From the time I got there. God yes, my main, my main, main soldier. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. You must have shared a few. You know, <laughs> I can imagine. I, I don't even want to go there. No. Me neither, <laughs> that was too. Yeah. Mobilizer. Hang somebody on. somebody just <laughs> says uh, um, mobilizer. He was, he was a no, man. but he was a horse that, 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 that Roger had in the Queen's Plate. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he was a stronic horse. Yeah, you broke his mate into the person's side. Yeah, he was a stronic Javon, horse. Javon call, call, um, Carbon. Yeah, this is my main man, okay. Javon. Is it Javon? <laughs> that was a stronic horse that was... Yes, yes. By the I... Queen Stalin or something like that, yeah. Yes, Marianne is saying that Greg loved all of our guests. Yes. <laughs> the only difference between John o and, and myself with Greg is that I, I couldn't keep up with him. John o, John o right hand was a lot stronger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really in those days, I wasn't over there. Yeah, 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 well, all right, yeah, 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 <laughs> we, we don't want to include the, the journey of a man doing those kind of things. We want to talk about him on a horse's back and the well, great things that he's doing, you know. Because what, what, what I'm gonna ask Jono though, at what point you found that your weight was really giving you trouble in Canada, you was really begin to struggle. Man, I, I well, you know. It happened a few times and I just kept, took a break a week or two off and the last time I just just got fed up. I remember when you came to me one time, you tell me how oh, I know he's a old veteran and I, I give a little advice and stuff because I what I noticed about John Odo, every year he was coming back, he was maturing, his body was maturing more. You know what I mean? He was getting kind of coming to Barbados, I found he began to really look solid, you know what I mean? Really well, this, this, Look, like you know, his body was getting tough. Well, how much, how much, getting... how much more did you learn though as you mature? I know, and understanding what you had to do to, I mean, to discipline yourself more. Because I mean, you watch a lot of documentaries on T and about jockeys and the lot of things that they had to do, man. To and people don't understand what you guys go through as riders trying to maintain your weight. Hello, especially when weights were 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 down to like one eighteen or something like that. I mean, just. Give the, the artist a little bit of, especially a guy like yourself and Sean that had to pull a lot of weight all the time, how difficult and hard it is to do. I mean, okay, it's mentally and physically hard on the body. And I mean, and it can also interrupt, you know, your family life and stuff like that, because it's not an easy thing you guys did in day in and day out. Uh oh, uh -oh. we lost them. Well, they'll be back, Sean. Hear he's, back. he's back. Yes. All right. Sorry, he's back. Sorry, he's back. Sorry, yeah. You can't hear Don't us. Hear Hello? Our direct, our, our director, our director is, is having te our technical tech difficulties, Sean. So our tech guy is as, working on it. I, I have as, faith as our, in Brent. As our tech guy is working on it, I Sean. Let's this, this show must go on, Sean. So, so far, we, we, we're we enlightening our audience on a, a lot of great things about Jono winning gold cups, winning derbies, you know what I mean? Being in a, yes. a family with breeding, his father breeding horses, his father was a great rider and stuff yes, like that. Correct. So, you know what I mean? It's it's wonderful to see. And and, and he's one of our homeboys. You know correct. what I mean? He's one of our homeboys. So, and we we, we can... Hello? Are you back, are you back John? Yes. We can hear you. you can back? you hear us? Hello? We, can we hear can't us? hear you. We, we, I I can hear I can hear you, but I, we can't hear you. I don't know what happened. All right, you, he's back. You're new, back, right? I don't know. I, I was there and it cut off. Okay, okay. well All you're right. back. Okay, right. You're back. You're back. So as All I was right. as I was saying before, Jono, let's let's enlighten our audience out there. You and and Sean also as writers. I was never right. I didn't have to pull weight. I lift weights to get bigger. You guys had to <laughs> diet to get smaller. And this is one of the things that 
kind of stop your career from going forward. It was your weight. And I, we watch a lot of documentaries out there on jockeys trying to keep their weight down, the things that they had to do, how much it, it disturbed them mentally and physically, how much it, it kind of hurt their, their family life and stuff like that. So could you kind of enlighten us a little bit more how hard it was for you with your weight and the things that you had to go through? Well, I guess I did it as long as I could before mm -hmm. it started to impact me in that way. Okay. Which which you you it didn't get to because I know it, it, you can you can mentally it be affected because when you get dehydrated and stuff like that, they say it can cause problems to your brains and stuff like that too, right? <laughs> And I mean, and no, and it's a true thing. And it, it has happened. There. I had writers that killed themselves because of this. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's. I'm not sure if the weight is what they kill themselves about more so as to put, as opposed to not being in the limelight anymore, right? Well, mm -hmm. that's another thing too. That's another that's, thing too. That, I think more more of that not being looked but, at or, or know who people are or whatever, whatever. People can that... hold the, the, the ups and the down. How's that affected you though? Because you were one of the top men, you made a lot of money, and um, in my mind, I still am. <laughs> I, yes, yes, but you had something to fall back on too. Because, like, you, when your shirt is showing there, and and I mean, you're, you, you enjoy fishing, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that 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 helped you because I know a lot of guys would say you go fishing and you go to the ocean for for days, and then we can see here on the yeah, but yes, here I guess after you after you ride. You either become a trainer or a agent or a something in the business. Something in the business, and I yeah. came back to Barbados, and I was I really wasn't interested in it here. Yes. Yeah. So if I wanted to be some one of those things, I would have to stay there. Yes. yes. So I just came back and did my thing. So fishing was one of your passions from before, even while you were riding to or after. Yeah, the, the, the first year, the first year, second year, I can they bought a boat? Wow. 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 Yeah. Always been my thing. Okay. And, and and you didn't go you didn't buy a boat to go in Lake Ontario, didn't you? <laughs> no, no. 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 <laughs> so you're saying the man John O deal with Sean John O, uh, man. Deal with Sean John O. Yeah, he's throwing some punch. He's throwing some punches at you, John O, and I don't I don't understand why he's throwing these punches at you, John O. Because, because he, he's, 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 he's not he's like an island boy. He's an island boy. We ain't, <laughs> they ain't buying a boat to go in Lake Ontario. That's all I try to say. He bought a salt water boat, Sean O. Not, like. not, not a fresh water boat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so John O, you, you have your fishing. I can see it advertising here. You you got a fishing. Um, you're a captain on your boat and everything, and you have a, a fishing website that you can take people fishing and all that. Let us know a little bit more about that also, because that's one of your your next passion. Yeah, well, that's what I do. I take I take people out fishing, fishing charters. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do now. Have you get a chance to take Sean out with you yet? No, Sean never asked. That's that, Jono, 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 Jono. I've been out with you a couple times. Come on now. Okay. Come on now. <laughs> One time I went out with Jono and the water started turning green and all kinds of different colors. And Jono said, Sean, I, I, I don't want to go through there. <laughs> we were heading down west coast towards the um the Arat place out there. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. He told me one time the, the waves is big. I mean, these, uh, but the, I, but you, I impressed you that day because you said I, 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 I took it like a man. I, I didn't puke. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so how, 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 often, how often are you on the water now, John? Every day? Well, I would like to be every day, but um, whenever I get work, so maybe two or three, four times a week. And mm -hmm. and you also you're time, also involved in busier, obviously. And, and you're you're also involved in ship in, in in fishing um competitions also too. Yeah, we had one last week. It was in a fishing competition. And how did you did how did we results? We came fourth in that one. Okay. okay. So how many and how many times have you won it so far? I won the one here a couple of times, a few times. Wow. And what's the biggest fish we should say that you you I, caught? I actually took Roger Upfield the one with me one year. We went to um, Grenada. I think we came wow. second overall. Wow. Second overall. Second or third, yeah. Wow, great. And the great Roger Atfield was there, presence to witness your, your your great job that you're doing on the ocean. <laughs> he wasn't a spring chick at that time either. He's a soldier. No. Wow, wow. Was That's he impressed? Great. 
was he impressed with the with what it took to get to Grenada and, and all that navigating and stuff like that? Might have been a bit shocked. <laughs> shocked <laughs> <the right word. laughs> Wait, why is that? Well, it's, it's, it's the, the boat wasn't the most fanciest. <laughs> so this is the same boat that you bought with from, from Canada? Pardon? This is the same boat that you brought up that you bought when you came up here. No, I bought it in Florida, but oh, you bought it in Florida. Oh, the last time you came here, because that's where you came up here, and then you went from here to Florida. I remember you did when you did that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, you were working for um, for Reed that time. That's when I had the broken leg. The same okay. time when I had that same time I left Canada with the broken leg, I went to bought the boat. That's right. Talking about Reed, I rubbed the horse called Free Free Lady. I don't know if you remember this horse. And I want to back the microphone has gone very, very low. You have a volume very low? Very, very low. I can hardly hear. Come in, tech guy. I wish I was there to help, Jono, but <laughs> <laughs> yes. all I can say is maybe log in, log off again, or is there that? you just muted it. Yes. We're hearing yeah, you good, man. though. You all right? No problem. We can hear you. Okay, so as we were saying, we read talking about Reed Baker. Yeah. He had a filly called Free Free Lady that you rode first time up for him. And I I was the assistant trainer there at that time. And I had mentioned to you in the paddock, I said, John, oh, this filly, because Reed never liked giving instructions to riders. And I said to you, John, oh, this filly's been working really good in the morning. But the horses that were beaten in the morning were, they can't win for 12-5. And I said to you, John, I know the one thing I like about her, the beat her at five eighths of a mile, but after the wire, she always gallop out great. And I says, that's it, all the instructions I give you on that horse. You end up finishing second, Patrick won the race on that horse, you know? And you came back in and say, you know what, Leroy? I made a run for, my, for it with her, and she ran a great race. You didn't get back to ride her back because she went on to win the second the second and the third leg of the trip there because you were committed to horses, some horses for Raj Do you remember her? A great filly. Oh, that's too far gone for you to remember that. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Reed did want you to write her back, but again, you were committed. You were writing so many horses for Raja at that time mm -hmm. that you ended up writing some horses for Raja. But you will remember her then. And that was another, that, no, you're talking about Reed, that was another story too. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, when I first went there, I was in rewriting a lot of most resources mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah, and they had the horse and the, the um going up to the Queen's Split. Something Mike, big was it? Big Mike, no, no, something not Mike, man. I, I can't remember. Classic Mike was the name of the horse. Well, okay. Classic Mike. okay, and I broke my, my I fell off a morning on the training track and broke my foot. I said, nah, boy, I ain't missing this one. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember that. You he rode like with a broken leg. Third or fourth, yeah, you, 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 you rode him with a broken leg. Yeah. Oh, a foot, foot, a foot I, on I your did, leg. I, your I your foot, sorry. Slade's boot, cut it in half, put uh -huh. it on my foot and tape it up. <laughs> yes, See, I these, remember. All these I, great I, stories I, you got I, to share with, share with us. And I know you're you just finding them as, as we go on. <laughs> yeah, after the race. Obviously, the foot was broken, so I had to take about five weeks off. Oh, trip. And, and Reed was, Reed, well, Reed and the owner were not very happy about that, obviously. What, they, okay. they found out after? Yeah, well, they, I mean, they knew that I was hurt, but they didn't know that. It was a broken, a broken, was broken. foot. Wow. Now, but did it, you affect you when, did it affect you when you rode, though? Did it affect you? It wouldn't affect how the horse ran, but mm. I'm sure it affected it afterwards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. They wouldn't. I mean, yeah. You know, that's the one thing in horse racing, right? As 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 a jock too. You know, what I mean, when you get hurt, it's amazing how much business you can lose. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And yes. and that's the one thing. As being an agent myself, I know. You know, you you get your jock get hurt, and you and especially you you're on a, a big ride. Sometimes you know what I mean, on an upward swing, and you get hurt, and you can lose so much business. And and you know, hearing you say that you had to have to ride that horse with a broken foot, you know, it's it's amazing. <clears throat> I mean, look at a guy like Emil Ramsamy in California. I mean, he he lost everything when he was on his way to superstardom in California, and just lost it all in the blink of an eye from a fall. 
So, I mean, it happens to the best of the man. I mean, and that's why jockeys always got to be more than that. Be very tough to um, don't let a broken leg keep you back. Wow. And, <laughs> well, as, as you always said, as you think with a jockey, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. every day you miss, you're missing, you're missing, you miss it, you're missing some of your horses. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you. You can't afford to get hurt, man. I it's, think it's, might be a little different now, but in my, in my time, if you doctor tell you a month, you, you try your best to get to a week. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's damaging to, you, to your career, man. You know what I mean? And I'm being an agent, I experienced that, you know what I mean? And that's why you got to be so careful as your age, as an agent, you know what I mean, to try and find the right horses for your jock and do your homework that you make sure you don't end up putting your, your jock on a horse that you know can cause these problems to you because then mm -hmm. it also it, it doesn't just hurt your jock it's you and in, in, in the business and all the, all the things around you you know what i mean so it's so mm -hmm. important so saying that you had tom Patton as your agent describe your relationship with him you know we, we were well my agent but we were friends still mm -hmm. are and you know mm -hmm. you guys yes, are we had, we had and have a great relationship yeah, you guys are very quiet guys because he's not a big talker and you're a very quiet guy yourself. But I mean, your your guys work showed, you know. Yeah, well, I respected I respected him doing his job and he respected my opinion when I, when I would say it and it worked. Mm -hmm. So in, in other words, that relationship between jockey and agent is so important, right? In, enlighten us, uh, our, our artists a little bit about that because I'm an agent myself. So I mean, it, it, you can do the talking for me on that, on that behalf of being an agent myself. For sure. For sure. Yeah. And also saying that he's going to be your son's agent also, Jono? Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going in great hands then. Correct. Well, correct. the thing about Jono was Jono didn't say much when he was... Um, in Canada, he didn't talk too much. I mean, even doing his interviews, it was very. And I think I think a lot of people might be surprised to see how we, we got you going. We we have you rolling along, Jono. Keep on rolling, I, my brother. I I, I, I hear laughing because Tom, Tom had a champion before me, and he had a champion after me. He's the only one that didn't make the champion. <laughs> <laughs> but you win some good prestige races, though, Jono. No, you mean that no. comes for it too, right? Yes, yes. That, 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 yeah, we used to yeah, yeah, pick, pick the good horses for good races. One lot of good yeah. races. You know what I mean? And those guys rode so much more horses than you do. They win so much more races than you, too. So yeah. let's not count yourself out here. Like John, like Patrick. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're, 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 I know, I know. But let's not count yourself out because, I mean, like Patrick said, you're an underrated rider. And you didn't, you, you didn't get the credit that you deserve. And we know that you rode some beautiful races and there's uh, some great things out there in the afternoon. So, yeah, we rode some a lot of good horses. Yes, you did. You know what that I mean. That was the main thing. We used to pick the good horses and stick with them. That's right. That's right. Your percentage kept your percentage rate belong and, and doing some great things for but us. What I would like to know is how did you manage to get who was it you doing that work in the morning and saying I like this horse or was Tom? Tell me, tell me, hit me with that. Help me out. I would guess initially, mm -hmm. Tom would obviously send me to breeze horses or whatever and then when they liked one i would say tom well i like they like this horse yes it's a nice horse yes and then he would he would obviously keep that keep a spot for that one right right and then um you just make sure you you stick close correct once you feel like it's a good way you, you try to stay with that mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. but how how did you take like when you came to Canada, I mean, as you said, a lot of the Barbadian guys are already rolling and stuff. But were you accepted very quickly by the majority of the trainers and stuff? Did it take long? Or yeah, well, as I said, Patrick and Tom were doing well, so I kind of got a lot of his spin-offs at the time. Yes. And winning with them, I guess. And 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 rolling from there. Yes. But then you spin in your own direction though, because Patrick wasn't getting right to Roger Hatfield and those type of guys, you know what I mean? So how did you get into Roger Hatfield's barn and those type of barns that Patrick wasn't really writing for in those days? Well, I can't I can't remember exactly. I, I remember writing early in early days writing a um an old horse they had called Red Sea on the grass. Right. 
I'm going to stick with that. Uh -huh. And I guess that was their own horse. Start. And they went from there. Uh -huh. Okay. Because don't forget, you know, I'm Leroy. Pat, she wasn't riding for a lot of those outfits like what that feeling those guys I don't know. Uh, because because he he was he was kind of taking it with mark cassie right and that's that's yeah. one of the things when you're writing for stable like that and you're 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 you know he's the first was one i think he was the first call at that time too right mm -hmm, Cassie. Mm -hmm. so you know that was kind of hard to, to get out to the other horses and commit to, to other horses you know mm -hmm. And you can see if look back and see that Patrick didn't get if he rides a horse for the first time, might not get to ride it back the second time because now you've gone through mm -hmm. your conditions and then you go to where Mark Cassie horses are. It's obvious that the agent now have to go to that trainer and says, yeah. Hey, well, you but know. don't forget, you know, they had a guy called Todd Cable who was riding in those days too. Oh <laughs> don't, don't forget that. That's true. That's true. So so I mean for him to to break through between Patrick and Todd and, and get these type of horses. I mean, Emmy was pretty hot around those days too. I mean, it was, it was it, that took some doing, man. Yeah, but I mean, he he showed what a good rider he was at two Sean, so that helped a lot. You know, I mean, he made news of what he yeah. got, and and people saw that, and it, it also helped. You know, his career up the road. Would you say that, Jono? Yeah, for sure. You know, definitely, right? I you mean, know what? They were they were taught, but they can't ride all. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? Only takes only, take, only take to make one wrong choice. <laughs> well, we saw we saw that we saw that in, in the in the queen split with, with Wando and Mobile, right? The guy making right. the wrong yes, choice, yes, right? Yes. right? Things like that. Yes. So right. you know but he I miss I, he was very nice to me all along too. Todd. Who's that? Todd Todd Cable. Cable. Huh? Cable. Yeah. Him yes. and, and he helped me a lot. Both of them I would say helped me a lot when I was there. Wow. Um, that's good. You know, something I heard um, a lot of jocks say, you know, with, with our sport, we have a sport that we go there and you guys got to go there right against each other and everybody has to go back in the same room <laughs> with each other. Yeah. How, how was that for you? Yeah, me, I, yeah. Because it's, it's always cool, you know, I was cool, dude. And being friendly those, with most of the guys and whatever. Yeah, it's, it's one of those sports, like you say, you know, we, we, we're the only sport that have an ambulance going around and falling following us right we are the only sport that when you're done right you got to go back in the same room it's not like football other guys go to their locker room and the other guys go to their locker room you know you guys got to go there and write each other almost want to kill each other basically to, you know and then, to get and, to that and way. then come back tomorrow and do it again and then come back tomorrow and do it again but you know but i don't think i don't think jonah jones is like an emmy ransami type of guy because emmy the last interview did with emmy emmy said when we talking about having fights and stuff and we say who i ran <laughs> I, I, read, I read the other direction. <laughs> but Jonah's not a runner. No, no, no. Not, yeah. No. Jonah was try to avoid him up. No, I don't runner. <laughs> <He ain't> runner. <laughs> I know a young Jonah Jones. Those, those, when he and Patrick were young, they used to give. So they were, they were, they, were, they weren't easy. They weren't easy. No. No, I tell you. You face you face some of that. With, uh, you saw some of what? Well, what can you share, Sean? Listen, what, what I can share. With no, you. that was a long time ago. We, 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 we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going there minus you. <laughs> I'm going there minus you. This is something now that happened between myself and Anthony Turkey's Patch's brother. Entertainer, Sean. We went to a party where all these young boys were. By this time, we were, you know, veteran guys. And you know, Anthony looked like Patrick, and a fella came in there. And all was, I mean, Anthony's dancing with his wife and everything. This guy come and grip him up, like if he's a, a garbage, you no, know, if he's garbage, you know. This sound like a gambler. This sound like a gambler you're talking about. Listen, man, these guys used to trouble a lot of people. I, I know this guy came back for Patrick, thinking Anthony was Patrick. and the fact then there that's all i could tell you <laughs> so did, did he lose his money by then on patrick no the guy who holds some legs and you know what i mean because it, it was john not talking about that since we're talking about my holding some legs as a as a writer right you know you got the gamblers out there and especially you guys leave the paddock and you're going out and you know guys always are asking for a bed and stuff like that and were you wanting the guys to give a guy a tip on the side or anything like that 
And it, I mean, Dave Penner was one of the writers that used to do that a lot. As, as, as I remember in the early 90s in, in, in Canada. Were you a guy that had your fans there that would always give out a little bit here and there? A smile, maybe. A smile. <laughs> that, that smile tells you something anyhow, right? Yeah. So then, no, but I, I would, and yeah, I'm not really, no, I wouldn't be. I try to focus on what I was doing. If I saw something new, yeah, I would get him a little a wink. wink or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. So then, mm. then after discreetly, because you, know, <laughs> you know, we we got a lot of the gamblers up there when guys lose their money. You know, they say some things about jocks. Sometimes they don't realize what you guys go there and do. You guys put your life on on, on the line for entertainment sometimes, and they don't realize, you know, that you go there and ride a race. Yeah. A race a ra you can go there with plan A, plan B, and plan C, and it don't go the way it's supposed to go, and it don't win the race. Although you were the best horse in the race. It's not always that it's gonna work out the way you expect it to work out because you got the best horse. You no, know what but I mean? but no, but he, he's the most important man in, in the whole business, huh? Yes, right. That's right. Because had not for them, we don't. Without the gambler, there's no racing. There's no racing. Yeah, absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. we see see that a lot with the COVID. This um the, the two years of COVID, how much people online betting, you know, did. They did very well. They did very very well. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I mean millions and millions of dollars in in, in online betting. You know, there were some record-breaking years. Um, those, those two years, of millions of dollars in in, in betting. I can't even remember who the who, who the guy, the head of manager of Woodburn at that time, or where it was. But the guys wanted didn't want to ride or something one time. Uh huh. And it was cold or whatever it was, and, and the guy came in the room. He said, "Look, this is what it is. Y'all gonna make a decision because this is a show. Y'all are the actors, and the show must go on. So tell us mm. what you're doing." That's mm. a good way of putting it. <laughs> this is to show you guys are the actors. <laughs> I never heard it like that, but that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, that's what the man said, and it's true. I mean, the true. Everybody it's... there. They, they, so... they, they, they're what make racing, right? Yeah, it is so true. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So, and it's still, Could... and the show must go on. Could so, no. much... right. go ahead, go ahead, son. Now, how much are you still involved in horse racing? How much do you still watch horse racing and stuff? I mean, although your son is in it now, but it's, how much are you still following horse racing, John? I go. I go and watch. Okay. I go and watch. Although I was not there on Saturday, but I go up most times and watch. Okay. A, a friend of mine, um, Darren, and, and his dad, David Matthews, keep, keep horses up there by me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have horses around me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you still have horses? So you're still living the same by where your dad is now, and still no, have no, horses? no, no. Oh, I live, okay, okay. I live up in a little further east of, of him. Oh, okay, but I have um, yeah, I'm a little, I want to say a farm, but they keep about six horses around me. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so you're still you're still associated with, and then your son is in it. So, but maybe... I see them every morning. I'm not I'm not associated because I don't pay for them, but I see them every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see them, I smell them. <laughs> well, when your son comes up here, you're going to be more involved in it also, too, because you're going to be paying a lot of attention to what he's doing, right? Yeah, I follow it a lot more than I do now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Canada, I only really I only really watch the big races, the Seal Patch right now, whatever. Okay. You know, I really well, we don't know, know. Our race yeah. is starting on the weekend here. Yeah. You know, yeah, so we didn't have a great – it is not a great feel of racing for the first weekend. I mean, we had – you know, didn't have a lot of horses – entering today it took pretty long to get it going we got one stake race it's a hundred thousand dollar race you know and it's a seven horse field i mean we didn't get much big field i think our biggest field has eight horses in it but is it not is it not generally not generally is, is it norm not really you know we, i mean when the, the first year with the COVID, when we had we had a few big fields we had a lot of horses enter this seems it seems as though you know a lot of the guys are not ready like they before and you didn't have a lot of horses shipping in i mean roger Affi is still not in yet you know yeah, he's still Gil Gil Cox is still not in yet you know we still mm -hmm. got but, yeah but that's the norm roger, I mean, roger usually goes to keelan and yes, then yes. Till after that. yeah mm -hmm. but i mean before he still have one or two horses but we'll be here right, training already you know that probably that stayed local too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so we are our, our our meet is starting on on Saturday. And today was the first draw for the for our meet here. Okay. And Patrick is riding three horses on Saturday. He's riding one in the stake and two for Mark, one for Bar Mitchell and two for um um Cassie. So should we have a bet then? I <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the one I like the one in the stake. 
be careful a lot of people watching this here. You know that, I, but I can see, I, I know that. I, I, I say the one I like. I gotta say the one I like. <laughs> you know, we like we just talked about the betters. We need the better. So you know, if I can give a tip here now, that's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you, you make an extra friend or two. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get our fans into we have to get our fans into the game and bring them into our game. We just started, so we need we need you know the revenue for our game. Correct. Without the revenue, we can't we can't go forward, you know. And hopefully, we can have a, you know the a, a audience on 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 Saturday. So that'd be nice. Yeah. So, what I would like to mention now is myself and Jono. We did a project about it got me about 2014 myself Jono, and a lady called marcia hines lane sat down together to put plans in place for a racing horse racing academy and it seems to be taken getting some sort of traction by government right now and I would like to thank John right now for the input that he put in at the stage because at the time it was she was telling me that guys us come back home and we don't we don't get back to the country and that kind of stuff and I took it personal. I brought John in and we used to talk. We talked for we had some good meetings and I'm hoping um in the very near future, John, because I'm I heard the government took it to parliament and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's something that you know maybe that you could still. Well, it's very true. You already tell you now. Mm -hmm. I could tell you from everybody that I know, like from a trainer to a, everybody up there. Yes, they want workers. They need workers. Correct. We're we're we're, we're desperate, John. Oh, desperate. We have jockeys, exercise riders, grooms, everything, everything. here that need work. So it's a yes. common sense thing. We're yes. desperate up here right now, John. We got trainers can't bring horses in because they don't have enough help. We got trainers. That's what they heard. We have, we have I trainers see it on here. Facebook all the time. People advertising. Yeah. They want riders. They want hot walkers. They want grooms. Yeah. We've we, we've got trainers up here that got guys rubbing six and seven horses. You know what I mean? Wow. And it's it's hard on the grooms, and the grooms are not getting an off day. You mm -hmm. know what I yeah. mean? You, you got and you can't afford to push these guys, and these guys are there from. What four o'clock in the morning getting up at three and two thirty and three o'clock in the morning to get up to get to work. You know what I mean? So no, it's but, but myself and John did this thing I at the show. It had me what 2014. This is now you know, about eight years ago. You know what I mean? And right. it's now getting traction because they're now talking about it. And I really hope that um it's something down the road that guys at John could be involved in too, because we need we need these guys who've been to battle on the international market to to come back and just guide some more youngsters any how they can you know what i mean and i'm i'm really looking forward to see if it really takes off i mean and john is here still to, no, well, to, we to help out in some way we need we need guys that john is still to help out our, our, our youth but that forward. program that program that we had when we how we got up here right is right. that program can't be started again from somebody starting it from barbados or i mean <clears> here <throat> too because now you got to advertise the job for three months up here and go through all this stuff that before the guys can get up here and people like the canadians are coming to do the work and when they realize i just the other day there was a lady at the track and she come there she's out front side working <laughs> and she come over to the back stretch she got licensed and everything but she liked the animals, but when she realized how big they are and the things that they do, yeah, she said, this yeah. is not for me. You know what I mean? And yeah. we got guys at home sitting down would love to get up here to try and make some money to help support their family. Something needs to be yeah. done. I mean, like trainers are here hurting, man. Hurting. But, I mean, I, I there's nothing more I could do. I, I spoke to everybody who, you know what I mean? I spoke to three different governments. Wow. You know what wow. I mean? D, B, B. You know what I mean? And you know, but it seems to be getting somewhere now. I mean, I you know Corey Lynn, he he won a seat recently and he he's um I'm I'm sure he's working behind the scenes now to get this off the ground because 
he has a, a ranch. I, I, I think the only way that that could be sorted is with the H, HPPA or whatever up there, right? Yeah, but they, they, they're telling you got to go through all this, this, I call it red tape. I can right, so it, 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 I guess it will come to a stage when, when they will have to organize that. Yeah, because then the trainers has to pay X amount of money to their pockets, John, and then they have to bring these guys up and put them in a hotel and all, wherever they got to put them, like when the COVID was going on. They have yeah. to bring everything over their pocket. Yeah, yeah. But all I'm all I'm saying, right, is the problem is not only Barbados, and the problem is obviously in Toronto. Right? Canadian, yeah. Canadian, yeah. Canadian. Yes. yes, correct. Yes, correct. Yeah, they're gonna find workers from somewhere else, or they're gonna arrange for us to come again. Yes, yes, no, definitely. You know, and I mean, it's not just in Canada because even in the states, it's hurting now because some of the guys that were in Florida and stuff like that that come that does finally go back home are saying, you know what, it's just not here, guys. It's happening over there now too. Mm -hmm. You know, our industry is is workers is it's hard for our workers right now to get workers for our industry yeah but as ted saying here now in the 90s we farm if the farm labor program but what happened was a lot of guys left that program when the government was taking money out of their pay and they didn't get it when they got back home oh i mean you you can't take people and treat them like that sean and expect right. them to you know to stick with you right so everybody abandoned that yeah and went private their own cowboy yeah they went by the self and yeah that program kind of died a natural death you know yeah no so, definitely but you know what i mean as i said we still got guys at journal here i sure he still will lend a little hand if called upon <laughs> <laughs> Jono, he thrown a lot of punches at you Jono, man yeah but, but i mean but like I have, I have a lot of friends out here that, that would love to get back up there to work, huh? Of mm. course, and we would love Same to have them. And those guys, those guys would love to go back up to work. We but, would mm -hmm. love to have them, man. We would love to have them, like I said, man. As he always says, if somebody to pay the deposit and whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you know, and, and like I always say to these guys, you know, if these guys can try and save their money down there and try and, you know, me help themselves doing that when, when a trainer, even if you got to do it that way that you have to tell the trainer, listen, man, I'll pay my way up. Just put the papers in for me. Because mm -hmm. and eventually you'll make your money back because the amount of worker, the money you're going to make up here to compare to Barbies, you'll make your money back. Oh, yeah. You know but what see, I mean? But see, Damien is saying here that the government doesn't, doesn't deem grooms as a skilled worker, but you, you come on now. <laughs> Nobody off the street can come and deal with a race horse. I could tell no, you that. That's, that's the thing. But they don't see that, though, Sean. They don't see it that way. They you know? You're going to get up for five o'clock every morning. Alone is a skill. <laughs> <laughs> Not even five o'clock, four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and then fellas be there before the before sun even peak. they be there for the rare horses. No, I, I heard a trainer told me the other morning, you know, he had to put down one of, or to get a guy, he had to put him down as an owner. Well, wow. You know what I mean? It's, things like that you have to do yeah, well, yeah. you get these guys up there's, there's i mean they go through these loopholes you yeah. know you got to find the loopholes to do it you know well it's, it's i'm so sorry to hear that because i mean there's so much workers down here who really could come up there to help i mean there's no doubt about it and it just it just not working out i mean this thing this thing is now going on in Oliroy. Well, I know that. I know that. Especially, sure. especially when governments change. Oh Lord, you know what I mean? Yeah. The other government now totally against immigration, so they don't want nobody coming in the country. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so it's it's, crazy, it's, kill, it's killing our industry, though. That's the thing about it. I mean, it's something that we uh, we were so passionate about. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. done how much for you. It's done how much for John. It's done how much for myself. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And to see that we can't, you know keep going forward and like John has a son now who's going to come up here and try to establish himself as a writer here and you know what I mean you don't want to see our game go down the drain like that right and then and he wants to be able to sit down and see if his son can do create the the, the thing that so he's Jonah, like. do you plan to spend a lot of time in Canada when when Slayer goes up a lot more a lot more time yes I will say a lot but a lot more when I come up I come up in May I'll probably come for three weeks Okay. First and time, I, and then you guys come back later in the summer. Okay. Okay. So saying that, told John, how much have you? How much have you had to brush up on your son? How how serious? I mean, not I shouldn't say how serious. That's a stupid question. But how much have you brushed up on his writing and seeing what he's done as a writer, and that you with your experience have you been able to teach him? To be honest, not a lot. He has a lot more talent like that at his age. That's for sure. Wow. That's impressive. That's good to hear. That's very good to hear. So we, we, we're expecting to see 
a uh, apprentice uh, 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 um champion up, up here within a, a couple of months then <laughs> you know all of that someone, well hey you got you can write if he, you see he's got the talent, he's good. You got to aim for the sky, right? So we're expecting him to a summer's award at the end of the season. I mean, there's what other apprentice we have out here. If he got the talent that you're that I hear guys are talking, what other apprentice we have out here right now writing? You know what I mean? Because Sean had mentioned it to me a lot before, too. There's so many young guys down there that are writing great. And mm. what we have up here to say that one well, of those guys don't be able to come up here and show that how good they are. We yeah. haven't seen yeah, a good time, time will tell. We haven't, seen a good, yeah. we haven't seen a good apprentice up here in a long time, Jono. Well, I would buy him, but the guys go west. The guy, the major guy won it last year, I think. Yeah. Won a, um, a sovereign award from out west. Mm -hmm. uh, Woodbine is last where, year where, before Ray Williams. Yeah, Ray Williams, that's right. And there you go, you know. Okay. I know we're, we're waiting to see, um, you know, young Micah husbands come out. But, I mean, with him, with your son coming, he come out together. Both of them can have a nice little rivalry going. Listen, they have, a young, they have a youngster here asking, John, what advice do you have for young writers? And there's a youngster here. Good question. Keep smiling and work hard. <laughs> 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 Typical John O. John answer, man. Keep smiling and work hard. Simple, simple. Well, as got get taken off a horse, that's another thing. That, okay. Don't Just get something get taken off a horse. You get taken yeah. off all the time. You don't pay no bills, so you can't make no decisions. Just keep smiling, keep working. Jesus. That's right. That's right. Good advice. And, Good and, advice. And, and according to Leroy's man again, you just keep doing that and can't hide talent. It will show up. It, it will show up. up. It will show up. Very important. Well said, John. Well said. Can't hide talent, man. You know. Because a lot of the youngsters don't realize that if you ride a horse today and tomorrow you're, you're off. You know what I mean? Yeah. I see that just happened to Louie there just the other day. And, and he rode at Philly there. Now she's going into the, the, the Oaks now. Now um, Sai is supposed to be riding from what I'm hearing. You know? Wow. It, it happened to the best of us, right? You but, don't pay but no John bills. No. You can't make no calls. Yeah. yeah. But, but that didn't happen to you much in your career, though. Of course not. Me? Yeah. I've been a few times. I, I, I remember one time for sure. I ask Tom the name of the horse. I can't remember, but we want to stick. We get take off. You serious? Yeah, the, next off. the next you know, race. The next race. Wow. Chantel. Yeah. What the horse did after that, John? You, you know, Tom put me on. I can't remember the horse it was on, but. <laughs> when you race with it with intention. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 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 all jokes aside now, because the horses at one John won all those big races, but I mean he obviously had to have a a, a, a bullseye on his back for, for jocks to go and take him out. You know what I mean? He still, he still kept the rides though but that's the game that's the game though sean you know what i mean even as an agent you know it's a it's a dog eat dog world you know what i mean when you when you're in it it's the battle you know everybody you got to sit down and, and be watching races as as a, as a jock also john how many replays and stuff would you watch and you know send your your agent for for the, the next that horse the next day would you were you one of those jocks that do that that did that as i said not really i would focus more on the big races on the big races yeah Big race, I would watch replays, whatever, mm -hmm. of that horse or that horse to beat or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But no, I would never really go back and well, I would watch the replays, but not study it. Not like study. how your man would do it. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. Everybody's different, right? Everybody's different. Right. But you know, like in every race that you ride in and you go back and watch a replay, you might pick two or three different uh, winners too, right? Although yeah, correct. You, and you know how you see a horse in a race that you could visibly see that it got in trouble so you would you would you would pose a question yeah mm -hmm. yeah and some guys have that natural eye for those things because i mean you see some things in races that you know another guy wouldn't see correct you know and you wrote how many you guys wrote how many races before so you guys can see the mistakes as a, a talented writer of yourself you can see the mistakes that another guy has made and that you you personally think you know what you can do better you can make some corrections to what he's done correct, correct. Correct.
Sean, could you say the same thing as a writer when you used to write, Sean? Well, I didn't write at the level of these guys. I'm a, but, I'm a, I'm an island guy. You remember that? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> if, if you're a jock in Barbies, you're a jock. If you're a jock in the States, you're still a jock. Yeah, but I was heavy. You know what I mean? Obviously, all these excuses, Sean, man. You don't, the excuses ain't going to work, man. Yeah, but I'm telling you, though. I was, it sounds I was like heavy. excuses. They always used to want to take me down. So that means I wasn't that good. You know what I mean? I wasn't a John Jones or Patrick Husband. Put it that way. <laughs> I'm not. I was just glad they put me back on to, to prove a point. <laughs> hey, hey John, on this show that we had so far, a lot of Barbian guys that were on this show, we mentioned our guy Ricky Griffith because he paved a lot of a way for a lot of us up here. Could you enlighten yourself a little bit of saying anything about Ricky as a? Or well, I mean, gr growing up, they were kind of like well, Godfrey was my dad's friend. Well, two rivalry. They had a rivalry. I, I grew up. I grew up with them my whole life. Pretty much. When I was a little boy, Ricky was riding my dad's horse and winning the derby. I was only like nine years old mm -hmm. or ten years old when, when Paddy Bear won the derby. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, always when he went up there, Ricky was always very helpful to me. I won races for Ricky up there. Mm -hmm. That's my man. There you go. Well, you know, <laughs> I don't want to rem I don't want to forget this guy because, like I said, he paved a way for a lot of us that are here right now because he was one of the, or the first guy to come up. Correct, Sean? Was it? That? Am I right, right about that? Yeah, Ricky was the first Barbadian jockey to establish. Vincent Walton would have been the first to ride, right? Okay. Vincent Walton at Woodbine. But Griff was the first to really establish um, the claws and the roots here. He came in 87 and everybody else came in 89, right? Yeah. Anthony, Anthony came with him too. Anthony happens. The both yeah. men came with him on vacation, that kind of stuff. So they're the pioneer guys that um really opened the door to what you see now. I I made a trip when I was like 14 years old, I think. Mm -hmm. To Canada. I stayed a few nights by Ricky and a few nights by Emil. All right. I might have been 14 or 15 then. And you were well, writing, you had you were started writing then too, you started at 14. No, I was writing in Barbados, but I just yeah. came out there. No, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You For started writing. I will, not, I will not tell you all. I came out there <laughs> and I stayed by Ricky for a little bit. I'm with Emil and then I went back to Barbados. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did, you take notes, did you take notes and take back home? No, that was that was a different. I was studying something different at the time. Oh. <laughs> at 14 or 15. Yes, yeah, so I stayed with them, but I remember. Yeah, I missed. Yeah. What am I hearing? 14. Those 15. were heroes in those days. Those yes. were your heroes of those yes. days. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Maybe still yes. are, still are my heroes. Yes. <laughs> and it's, it's great to hear that, though. It's great to hear that your heroes were guys like Emin Ram Sami and, and Ricky Griffith that you, you looked up to, right? Eh? When I grew up, when I grew up, them with them was them. That's what it was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Everybody, mm -hmm. all of us follow those guys, man. I mean, that's why like right. I brought the, that guy uh, Ricky's name into the conversation because you know a lot of us speak about it during the show uh, so far. Mm -hmm. All the Barbie guys that came on, and I wanted to know what your you know the relationship and what you what you thought about. Ricky. When Ricky started training up there, he used to use me a lot. He was right most of man. Mm -hmm. No, he's very supportive of us Barbadian guys. That's one thing I must say because even when I had Kevin Nick, because he supported him a lot too. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So you know, hats off to Ricky again, right? Can't forget that guy. He's like I said. Um, Chris um, is my main man too. Chris, All right. Yeah. yeah. Chris Grace, yes. Yeah. But, um, and Leroy, as a as an agent, have Griff ever um give it to you um, for spinning them? Of course, of course. Yeah. Of yeah. course, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's all okay. part of the game. It's all part of the game. You know okay. what I mean? It's all part you, of the game. You're, you're cool with it. Well, hey, okay. it's all part of the game. You give a little bit, you take a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like like John will say, you know, we don't pay the bills, you know. <laughs> well, I would like to make a quick note, a depth of gratitude to Ricky Griffith. He yes. welcomed me into his home for the first year I was up in Toronto in 1993, living with him and his family and learning the ropes at Woodbine Racetrack. Um, I fell in love in 1993 with Bob Marley. 
shoot Ricky Griffin. <laughs> and I still love Bob Marley to this day. <laughs> That's all Ricky listened to in the radio. That's all. <laughs> Nothing else. Shout out. Say? Great going, Ricky. So, Thanks for your hospitality. Uh, they see those guys, they didn't even pave the way for us. They also shelter us, right? Yes, yeah. They did. I, when I met with Griff, I met with Ricky in '89. I stayed with Ricky my first year. I there stayed there. Then when I went back again in '98, both yeah. times. And and Patrick kind of take over doing the same thing for a few guys that come up too. He also sheltered them. You know what I mean? So it's well, it's a it's a tradition. It's a tradition. Of the, the only difference is Ricky have an average house. Patrick got a big hotel there. No, you can take everybody. <laughs> 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 but that's, that's called progress. progress. You know what I mean? Pro nothing wrong with progress. Nothing wrong with progress. At all. With, swim with swimming pool, eh, John? Oh? Yes. Got the works. Yes. Cool yes. Yes. Cool pool. So, no. and, if, and, and if you go out there in the summer, you get all kinds of fruits too for your fruit trees. Yes. You got. yes. Yeah, man. On a Monday party every Monday. Every you know, Monday. Monday, Friday, Monday, I gotta move out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jennifer uh, Morrison, nice to see Brett, man. Jennifer saying thanks, Jennifer, for, for supporting the show. I'm very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We had we had some fun. I mean, it's fun. It's so much that's me so to see a lot of our guys get back up here, man. It was, I saw there's three guys I see up here so far now, you know, that's that, that came up from Barbados already. Oh, already Griff, is on the, Griff is on the set. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Sean, that one is that Shawnee <laughs> 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 oh, See, I told you about that car. I told you about that car road that you guys running for Meryl's horses, Sean. You guys end up making the people put a load of marble in that cart road. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. All those places yes. you guys are flagship and all those horses. <laughs> yes. Say hi to Bill, John O. Griff, say hi, say hi to Bill. Pardon? Griff said, said you to say hi to Bill. Okay. Yeah, Griff, Griff is on too, John O. I read on the set. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, John, right. so John, like Sean, um, Griff was saying that Sean and those guys rode a lot of horses in the cat road. What your days were like doing that, or did you have some of those days too? Any cat roads? Yeah. We we used to make my father do bear snort with race man. That's got you with that. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Even when they were full to it, you know. We did study nice, so we want races. <laughs> races <are all right. laughs> but I'm glad the show is going this direction now because you know, riding at the garrison and going to Canada, what has the gar you know, being that experience of riding the garrison being you have to be so skilled to ride the garrison. Was it easy for you to just fit right into Woodbine? Yeah, I mean, a lot bigger track, a lot op more open racing. So, mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, you learned where you had to learn, but you, you had a base to work with, right? Yes. You had a good start. Okay. Now, a lot tighter in Barbados, a lot. So, say, you know, say, say, it, say it, 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 for that kind of was, was, was but great. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, saying that, with, with you guys talk with more place to work with now, how about? The speed of your 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 traveling at because home you know you go twenty two forty five up here home yeah. you go what what was the what's the, your, your your speed down there you're going at Sean how was the yeah. difference there John to when you come up here to yeah, home I mean, obviously you, you you got a kind of angle for the turns a little bit more here yes 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 but no, I know that's what's slowing you down the horse speed is speed when, when you, that that second in, in three for longs it really makes no difference to you anyone is back really yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm not talking about from that point of view. I'm talking about the point of view that now you you have to learn to rate your horse better for the speed that you're going at, and and by home is slower, but here up here is, is quicker. And I bring yeah, Brett, you correct. Can see the it's slower but quicker, but there is slower, and and constantly angling. 
angling okay mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. you can't see it in a turn whereas yeah. up there you got the big long shreds that just cool just get position and get the horse to relax right yeah yeah okay here you gotta be constantly looking at not getting swung wide not this not that no because mm -hmm. i hear some guys who say oh man they went too fast you know i mean stuff like that and as mm -hmm. a rider because i've never ridden in a race before i rode horse before but never ridden in a race but to say yeah, yeah. you know to rate your speed and know how fast you're going patrick always says isn't that you got a clock in your head nobody knows really how fast they're going because you but you have a, an idea yeah correct you have an idea you know what you, you know what the horse and you how he feels if, if he's doing it easy or he's struggling to do it or whatever and then that goes back to the same race when you win your very first race because like sean was saying how oh, you had to race the lines dangling and let the horse relax underneath you because mm -hmm. all of us were taught when we learned to ride home it was all about keeping your hands down right yeah yeah and making that horse feel you know comfortable underneath you and still be pulling against them because we had some great exercise riders home and some great riders all together home from home and you can still see it up here a lot of guys when you see them get on horses up here and riding them you, some guys take a horse that's pulling with another guy that and a, we're standing there right away, get on it, and it's a complete different way that horse is going, you know. Yeah, so For sure, you know, when they sit there and watch the races home, I mean, you get the excitement from the races, but when you see the fractures, it's like you know, you got to come back to that reality that the turn, yeah. But I, I also, I'm not sure that the, the timing here is, is quite right either. Okay, okay, but you I mean, got, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that it, 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 it's as accurate as, as you would think. Because we, oh, okay. we had some fast okay. horses in Barbados, you know. I mean, we had, what, like, Achibaya. I yeah. mean, your father had a horse was Disco Dancer. Them horses used to fly, man. Achibaya listen, was like... Listen, Ricky Griffith told me yeah. that that is the fastest horse he's ridden, period. Achibaya? Achibaya. Oh. Okay? No, <laughs> when Griff told me so, right, I kind of like... I said, but I know when Griff was in, in Canada, he rides some real fast horses too. Yeah. But yeah. And, and so he the second guy... Marvin Ryder or Westin Ryder heard because Emmy Ram Sammy said the show the other day that calls him count with the best horse he's ridden, period. Yeah, and he was a good horse. He was okay. A good horse. So yeah. when you hear these guys saying these sort of things that you want to know well, how these horses get in the islands, then you know what I mean? But well, we had some good bloodlines in the, in the island, you know, Sean. We yeah, had some look, real good bloodline. But look at Incitatus. Incitatus, a Creole born in Barbados. And he came I, up here and did what? He did Mel some up here. Brett rode him a one in Canada, and I sure Jonah did too. You know what I mean? Us. It was Slade. Slade is who rode him, right? Brett, you rode him too. Slade. Oh. Slade yeah, is who rode him. Yeah, Slade went on him. With when I thought, Burke used to train him. Yeah, I, I thought I Brett rode in Satatas. I got two wins on in Satatas, and yep. I quit racing and gave the ride to Slade and okay. said I okay. to win a stake okay. with him. Okay, yeah. okay, you see, I, really, I mean, I, the most personable horse I've ever ridden. I, wow. I would, whenever I booked to ride him on a morning for Ron Burke, I hour? would go out and say an hour straight, and oh, I would just yes. let him walk around the track and look. And he was yes. a happy horse. John used to do that with him too. John used to get on and sit up, stand up there for, for how long on him. Mm -hmm. But don't forget, I, I rode him for the first night race, even you know. Well, there That's you go. Right. That the, only race he wanted, I was, I that the only race he wanted by was I was not on his back was he go up. Wow. Right. Okay. How how did that happen? Well he had like that. Oh, okay. oh you were heavy then. Okay, I didn't know you were heavy then already. Uh, like that. He had like a <laughs> ten or her eight or something. He was a, th a th yeah. I think a three old creole in the in the go cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, so deal wrote him. Deal wrote him, deal with him. Yeah, we have some real Correct. nice horses, man. You can't, you can't, you know, take out that. I mean, wow. when we had, when we had um the speed horses like with with Sam Charlie and 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 um Godfrey, we had Hot Chain Ebron Chai. I'm not Hot Chain, Hot Chain Breeders Walk. Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. You know, those yes. were rivalries. You know what I mean? Yes. yes. No, Hot, Hot Chain, yes. my father, my father is right now. Exactly, and Godfrey used to ride Breeders Walk. Listen, you know? listen. When I was a young apprentice in 1981, I rode with Donald's dad. And I was fortunate to set the pace for Hotcher. I rode a horse called Precision. Yes, David C's horse. Yes, and I remember my orders were to go to the lead, and when the bull was ready to come, <laughs> make room for the bull. <laughs> and I remember you know, the bull got a horse voice. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and, yes, and it was history. You know what I mean? So I, those, those things, 
as, as a youngster, man, I, I, I still remember Hotcha and Precision, all those good horses, man. Well, that's what I'm saying. When we talk about speed and stuff like that, we had some horses in Barbados who go on our race track like, yes. like crazy, man. You know what I yes. mean? So, yes. and we had good, nice horses like Turnbray, Els, and all those kind of horses, man. You know, yes. from up in um, that rich, um, farm up in up in Bridgefield in St. Thomas. That's rugby, brought, rugby, rugby. They brought it, they brought in some nice horses, man. Yeah, so, I wrote, some, I wrote him a couple of times too. Tom Brady, um, Jill Wilson used to own him. Yeah, we we had some good horses in Barbados, a bloodline and whatnot, a dance and all that. I mean, we had all that bloodline back home. Who was a good style your dad had there too, John? Pardon? Paddy Bird. Paddy Ogan? Paddy Ogan. He had got hurt or something like that. He, he, he ran into a tree or something like that home? Oh, no, that's not no, so oh, you spoke about that earlier. Yes. Paddy Ogan, too. Paddy Ogan was a good stallion. And then uh, I was Nosferatu. Yeah. Mm. But you know, the oh, racing yeah, here is still good. Yeah. I mean, we didn't, we didn't have the goal cut this year, but hopefully, um, you know, every racetrack has a day, right? Yes. Yes. Every racetrack has a day. So hopefully next year we'll, we'll be able to get back our day. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I think this year. And get people to start coming again and so on. Yeah. Foreigners yeah. come for the right. race. Because the Gold Cup is, is certainly one of the races in the world, right? Yes, yes. A big yes. prestige race it, it attracts. I mean, remember the first Gold Cup in Barbados, man, the crowds, man. Oh, my God. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I, I wrote in the second I wrote in the second Gold Cup, and I remember as a youngster going into the gates and you're looking across to the right, and you thought the grass was moving because it was just people. This is the you moment. know what I mean? It, right. it, was, it was crazy, but, man. I mean... I never you showed that. one the other day with Emil. Yeah. And that, I mean, that was that was probably in the 80s, but that, that was 87, maybe. The stand yeah, the crowd was, crowd was tremendous. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And um, Emil mentioned that too, you know what I mean? Like, on the, that weekend comes, where are you going? The Garrison yes. Savannah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, that, that's what it was. The trailer like, racing that we had in Barbados, man. We have a youngster here who's keeping us on our toes, man. I mean, this youngster here is telling us, we spoke of all your goal cuts, but not... Charlie Quell. Charlie Quell, that's the name. Talk about it first, please. Make this youngster feel happy. Teddy right. Quell, yeah, that was lovely too. That was great. Yes. That was for Dad Smith. Dad Smith? Was, yeah, it was very uh, impressive. Sand, was yeah, Sandy, Sandy think, too. Um, yes. Bobby Franco was a trainer, I believe. Okay. Wow. What race that I, horse ran in? He ran, he you want to go cut? Want to go? See, I, want four see, I was yeah. still, I was up I didn't get to see a lot. I miss a lot of gold cups, man. Yes, yes. John won four of them in our absence. Believe really, I tell you. Yeah. yeah. That was a nice one. What year was that, though? That was like 2004 or something like that. That'd be 2003 or four. 2003. 2003. 2003. Wow. So you went, you went four gold cups in a row? Yes, sir. I was going to go for the fifth, too, but I decided not, not to bother. It's safe to say then that you allowed um, Samuels to, to get that just, just, just like that. Yeah, he won five. He no. won five, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Samuel went yeah. five. Who did he double up on? Talented kid, boy. Oh, Samuels. Samuels. No, Samuels. We're talking about Samuels. Oh, Samuels oh okay. Jalom Samuels. Samuels. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. won five. Yeah. He won five also. And um, I think Emil won four. I mean, these guys went five and four. Goal cards, so they didn't leave it no. much to fight, but it's to, to win, man. Maybe Patrick of Venice won four. Okay, so oh. the kid has got a, the kid has got a record for the most. There, yes, you got five. Okay, and he wow. doubled up on 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 um on one horse, didn't he? For for Robert Pierce, didn't he win it twice for for Robert? Yeah, I think with Dorset. Eh? Dorset, yeah, that horse Dorset. won it twice, didn't he? Yes, yeah. yes, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, man. Yeah, Dorset. Well, I mean, Jono is. is we, we even leave no races from this guy, man. This guy wants so much good races. Apologies. Thanks, young Yeah, I wrote some good races, wrote some good races, wrote some good trainers, wrote yes. some good jockeys. I had a good time. 
Your I had a good time. Was, your time was good. Your time was good. Time well spent. Well spent, Mr. Jones. You flew you flew a flag well, John. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I, I always said after Pat your husbands, you gotta call John Jones as especially winning the big ones. Well, I don't like think about it win big races like John Jones. And like I said before, how many times on the show already? Oh, that Patrick see he's underrated. He didn't, he didn't get you know the ratings that he should get that he deserved. Yeah. You know, well, honestly, know he's, yeah, a right? he's, he's a very humble person, but yes, hey. I mean, I think we've done well to get squeeze all of this. I think the word is right, squeeze. I had a good. I need more. I really want more. I deserve more. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. One day. <laughs> Give me more, give me more. <laughs> more you right squeeze the only juice on you tonight, boss. I don't know if this is going to happen again. Because people know you don't want to talk much. You know, when I first asked this guy to do show, he told me, Sean, you don't like talking, you know. I don't like talking. Well, Sean, put it this way. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't say we're ready for the night. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, it's a good thing i'm a i'm a likable guy then i mean i, I i'm happy that I, I have made so much good friends in my journey in this business and i'm so happy that you guys are coming one by one to share with me what your life is about what your life is going to be now you're finished john o is and i don't want people to forget this if you're coming to barbados you have to book with Captain Jones on the legacy. <laughs> okay? The legacy. Any time of year you're here in Barbados, Captain Jones. He's not no more John. Say it Jones. again, John. Say it again. Cap Captain Jones. <laughs> you like the song of that, John? <laughs> so think who, it's who, you guys got, who you guys going to be on next? Who's next week? Oh, there. Oh, there. Well, you you tell him he, he put us on his spot he put us on the spot should we reveal it already for the for next week right you got to yes. up next week uh, yes. we, have, we have we have the great sandy holly. we have the great sandy holly coming next oh, oh lovely yes lovely we're trying heavenly we're that's trying heavenly yeah. yeah yeah i remember he won with jojo royal here yes correct yeah. i wrote yeah. the race too yes. I hope, i'm hoping he remembers that also because he's one He's one of what seven thousand races or something like that, or six thousand. Nice, very nice. Always, always very nice to me when I was there. Also, yes, 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 yes. Always yes. very gentleman, nice. A gentleman, a gentleman, a gentleman. Correct. Gentleman. He be nice to all of you guys, man. I, I never Rambino. heard. Of... Oh, Lauren. That was oh, that was Sean's horse. Yeah, okay. John, yeah. how's how's your dad? Good. Very yeah. good. Okay. I Probably struggling to stay up and watch it all now, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we keeping him awake he, then? He said he was going to watch, but I don't know if he's going to be watching. No, oh, because yeah. apparently that was what the matches were from Ricky. Ricky was said to say hi to the bull. So, oh, right, right. right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I saw Bill. That's I why I didn't realize hopefully, that. Hopefully yeah, he's watching so he can hear it for himself. Okay. Yes, he heard it now. Ricky Griffin was saying hi to the bull because, I mean... Ricky yeah, that, won that, that derby. That was the old jockey, jockey boy. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yes. It was. It was great, man. But Jono, I know it's getting late. I know you're you're up early fishing and stuff like that. And be you don't want to. You know I mean, keep you back any longer. You got your business to take care of on the other side. Right. I'm, it was a pleasure talking to you. I'm so honored, so grateful that well, you I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it myself, guys. Yes. Well, I'm so happy you, you know what I mean? We I, I, hope, I, I, I hope the next person could be half as good. <laughs> <laughs> and Leroy, you win all the races this year. We'll be having well, a fantastic yeah. year. Yes, I appreciate and it. I'll, Thank I'll, you. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yes, and I hope everything is well with your son and can't wait to see him come up the road to be successful up here, buddy. We'll be yeah, rooting we'll for him. Soon. We'll be rooting for him. All right. Guys, guys, thanks. Bye, -bye. Big Callahan. Later. Thank you, John. All right, Mr. Jones, man. Appreciate it, man. Hi. Thanks for doing this. Cool, brother. Hi, guys. So, we're well, wrapping up the show.
But um, yes. what a great show it was. You yes. had champion jockey Jono Jones. Jono Jones. Jono Jones. Jono Jones. Jones. <laughs> yeah. That went well, Sean. That was well. That was enjoyable. Very yes. much. So I I hope everybody enjoyed it like we did. I mean, you know, guys like Jono and 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 Emir and Sammy, those guys throughout their whole careers, they very little they they said to people. I mean, and they actually spoke spoke for them. Yes, yes. They never talk much, and it, it was so great that we are having these guys, our our West Indian champions, who who been to Canada and done it extremely well, and we're talking to Canadian champs also. You know, me, Sandy Holly. We just heard John John squeeze us. You know, we squeeze him all night, so now he squeezed this one out of us. Yeah. yeah so, and, um, and he rode in Barbados too. And he rode yes. in Barbados too. Yes. One one yes. in Barbados, not just rode there. One. You won the Gold Cup. Won the Gold Cup. The Gold yes. Cup. Yeah. Our yes. president yes. Yes. Royale. Yes. yes. This is David Seal, I believe. That's yes. right. Yes. Right. So, so David Seal, sir. So David Seal. Yeah, and, and his wife, yeah, and his wife. But you know, I'm happy to see up guys are saying this was a fantastic show. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks is, to all our listeners and watching. Thanks to all listeners. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm really happy that you guys enjoyed this show. Yeah. The first show of many, I hope to come. Um, I, I just I don't know what to say. I mean, this is a dream for me. This is something I got Leroy at my side, Brett Callahan, Sean Hammer. Oh, I got we no. also we were also bring on some more guest hosts also like myself to you know I me mean, to, yes. to you yes. know I mean, to change things up a little bit yes. so you know i but, know there's a few guys out there that you know willing and ready to come in yes. and you know yes. you know help us out and and and, and excite make, make this thing so much more excited for our fans yes. and the audience out there too so you know we're looking forward to that you know what i mean yes. we Thank definitely want to invite new sponsors to help assist us yes. to achieve yes. greater things so if yes. you want to promote your product services if you're a trainer, you want to help support trainer Sean Hall, bring your horses to Barbados. Let exactly. Sean train them for you exactly. and take exactly. home a gold cup for you, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, though, we, we just want to make the show um, what I always thought you know, was missing in the in shows, I should say. I mean, everybody has a journey. Yes. Everybody has a journey. And we, we want, to want to talk to as many we people want, we want to hear, yeah. as possible. We want, we want to hear the journey. The show is now starting. Yeah, the show is now starting. So we can't get to everybody in the first month or whatever. I'm we will get to here. you. Yes, we are, we're here for a long time. And we are coming after. I have many friends out there. I, I, I know I, many friends I could talk to. Leroy is in Canada. You could, you know, we're working on it. We're working on it. You're working on it. We're working on it. We're we'll here to comments and everything tomorrow and what yeah, people have to say. Yeah. There's Tyler here. See, Tyler's ready oh, to go. Too. Uh, yes, <laughs> Tyler. 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 <laughs> Tyler yes. ready to go. <laughs> yes, Tyler. Glad you I grabbed your shirt off face, Tyler. <laughs> He's ready what to else? go. So we got we got what a else? lot of people out there. Hope for your future yeah, host in the making. Mohammed, Mohammed, there you go. Yes. Mohammed is there also. Mohammed, Mohammed, thank you, yeah, Mohammed, thank you, Mohammed. Mr. Mohammed. Mac, what, what was that, Mac? Mac two. Mac two. Tata. Mac two. Tata. Thank you for supporting us and sponsoring the Barbados Turf Club. I really appreciate. Yeah. You know, Carlos sometimes. Grant, yeah. Carlos, all right. Yes, yes, Carlos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we said all the guys there we know, go. Man. Yeah, man. We make, we gotta make it excited, man. We gotta yes. we keep it excited. Yes. Keep it yes. fresh and excited. You know what Don't I mean? Forget. What my, my, my biggest fan, John Jennifer Morrison. Thank you so much yes, for everything. Yes. Oh, thank you, John, John, for all Mark, yeah. you know what I mean? All the support, she yeah. Us so much for all the support, and she mentions us when she does her things. Just yes. put me in, coach. Just put me yes. in. He's on the way to you. Just put me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's good, it's good to see we have people who want to come on this show, man. You know what I mean? That's yeah. great. And and yeah. I know what this show is for horsemen about horsemen, and we're going to carry it to wherever this will go. I don't know how whatever far it will go, but whatever level, whatever level. Yeah. 
There's Jennifer. There's, there's Jennifer sending kisses, yes. hugs, and kisses yes. there for you, yes. John. All for you. Rest in peace. All right, boys. Thank you, my brother. Rest in peace. Life. This, this. You're doing a great <laughs> job. I'm um, this the video he sent out today with um Corsi. I shared a few of my friends. Thank you very much. So we have a lot of people interested in this horse, and it saved me from um looking over the place. Thank you, racing scene yes, like yes, oh, oh Maddy, Roddy Mara. <laughs> yes, we show no people, we shout to them out. <laughs> we want more, we want more. Yes, that's it. This show now turned it out to uh, we, we show no our people, man. We yes, show yes, our yes. supporters. Yes, Roddy Mara yes. is doing good. Thanks to the last man, Barbadian to work with Laurie Severe, the guy who did so much for a lot of us, and you were the last guy. To work with him and you got what you deserve you got everything stable yes. sean colahan thank you thank you very much for all your support thank you good night good night good night thank wow you, thank sean. You love, man. There's, there's a lot of love though right look what look what you've done sean look what you've created sean there's love it man all goes back. <laughs> someone wanted to be put in there coach <laughs> That's, yeah, Tyler. So That's Tyler. That's Tyler. That's Tyler. Tyler knows his time is near. <laughs> he knows his time is near. Yeah. Don't we worry, put it Tyler. out there, Tyler. We put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys. Yes. Tomorrow's another day. Yes. Thank you. And we're walking away tonight with a big smile on our face. Yes. You know what I mean? Sure. And we, we got what we then. expected. And we could only go forward and do more now, right? Yeah, Rodney. Cool, brother. So, and Brent, Brent, great job, buddy. Great Thank job. You. Great Thank job. You. Well done. I mean, well done. And you know what? He looks like a real tech guy. Look at him. Look at him, <laughs> look at him man. I mean, uh, this guy look, the guy just look. He just looked like he looks the part. Looks the part. Yes. Looks the part. He got I'm, like here, so I'm, like, I'm in my bumper shorts, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. You're not alone. <laughs> Stick my man, short man, short man. No, that's my real. That's, that's my real man. That that that's my Steve man there, boss. Yeah. That's my real real <laughs> buddy there. You know I me. Mean? He worked me in Barbados. Worked me in Canada. Still my good friend. Yeah, yeah. Still working Lord. hard. We got it. We soon gotta give him a knee replacement because the knee is bugging him. I watched him walking the other day in the shed where oh, he was walking a little. We're gonna have to inject him soon, Sean. Oh Lord, don't tell me that. <laughs> I know well, told me just, you know, like a Tyrone Harden. Oh! <laughs> He's now an, and Tyrone is now an agent also to eh, Sean? He's a what? He's an agent? agent now. Yeah, he's an agent. He joined the agent crew. You're Who like, is he working for? Who is he, he working for this year? Flores. Flores. Yes, Flores, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Well, today. I thought he was the clerk of the skill. Yeah, today was his first draw. Well, good luck, Tyron. Good luck for the for the good luck, for the, Tyron. <laughs> good guy, man. Good guy. There you go. Yeah, man. We're buddy there. All right. I mean, every time we look to go, somebody say hi. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man. That's great, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks for yeah. love, man. Really appreciate it, man. You see, well, right we're now, horse, all of us are horsemen. We're just looking for another. Go ahead. Go ahead, I Brian. want to let everyone know that this is our first episode. Um, Sean has done some other episodes in the past, some great ones, and we hope to continue. We got 11 more scheduled episodes coming up in season one of Journeys, the talk show hosted by yours truly, Sean Hall. Sean Hall. <laughs> and co-hosted by... Leroy Trotman. So yes. anytime I can help out, guys, direct, let me know. And hold, hold on, a technical directed by yeah. Brent Harris. <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> <barbados> <laughs> <dot com. laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Yes. Wonderful show. And thank you guys thank have you a wonderful again, night. And God bless you. That post you too? You see, you no, know the problem is, guys, these guys are cutting the show going for three or four hours. Yeah, Bradley, Jesus, anything, Bradley. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> we'll talk. No, the cut is three or four hours, and it's only what time? It's only 9 23. They told you me to tough. make the show. You got tough. Brent wrote a lot of renters for me. Uh, 
Oh, tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, but you make guys... a banks on me. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we can get bank sponsorship, guys. Oh, yeah. What do hey. you think of that? Oh, <laughs> oh, but... Can you pull a string there, Brett? Can you pull Let a string? Let me try. Let me try. <laughs> uh, try and pull a string for a brother, there's man. Le there's Leroy. There's your brother Leroy Trotman. <laughs> and Leroy works for Ricky, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Leroy works for Griff. Both of you, short man, work for Griff. Yes, man. yes, yes. Whoa, yes. man. You tell this coming out. Taxi support, guys, man. <laughs> this youngster here, I think he's only 11 years old. And he's wow. up still watching us. Wow. Great, wow. man. This is the future, though. This is the future, Barbara. Yes. This, this shows you that we got these kids at 11 years old. They're, they're tuned in and, you know, yes, yes. the limit, man. Yeah. the limit thanks yeah. a lot for watching kid i call him kid because he tell me he's 11 years old man i can't believe it man yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big bites on me we'll do yes yes <laughs> yes all right guys, uh, all right, guys. That was right. a wrap yeah. Yeah. Show. Yeah. Um, we look forward to seeing you next week i next believe week. scheduling for thursday next week we yes next week yes thursday tonight because the sovereign yes. awards is on tomorrow night in canada so yes. you want yes. to leave some room for the the sovereign awards i believe it is going to be streamed live yes so it is. many people around the world can also stream in log yes. on mm -hmm. and stream in to see the sovereign awards of canada's greatest horse racing for last year awards Great. um we encourage all of our listeners to also support canadian horse racing Correct. as we have all benefited from it all yes. of us Yes, yes. Every one of us. That still, and, still is. and still is benefiting from Yes, it. yes. Yeah, the door is still open. Still open, yeah. It's not yeah. wide open, but it's enough to get through. Some are still getting through. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right, guys. A little All right, help guys. We should make it a lot better. So I'm hoping that happens soon. Let me just yes. get that in. Yes, Ooh. we got to keep pushing for it to get these guys right. up back up here and get, and get them some, you know what I mean, some work that can support their family and feed their families, right? And, and it's, you know what especially I mean? Especially the guys that you up there, Leroy, too, because yeah, I mean, we got to keep, we got to keep up for you, man. Yeah, we need good guys that you to keep on fighting, and yeah. you're doing well, a great job. You know, I'm aboard. I'm aboard, buddy. I'm aboard. So yes. again, guys, with tomorrow morning comes quick. So yes. we gotta, <laughs> I gotta go there and work hard again and try and find my job some months. For the for great. next week, you know what I mean. All right, my brother. You guys again, great job again, guys. Have a good night, and let's yes. keep the good work up, and let's try and you know keep this flow going. And hope tomorrow now we can, I can hear from my end how how yes. guys think about it, and you guys right. and we can share that among each other and see what right. we what things we can we need to you know straighten out on. and work Correct. on and stuff like that. Cause we will have our people you know telling us what they think we can better and what yes. we can you know do and stuff Correct. like that. And it's you know teamwork goes a long way. And a Correct. big shout out to our first official sponsor, the Barbados Turf Club. Club. Yes. We want to Barbados promote Club. horse racing. Mm -hmm. I believe Mr. Mahmoud Tata yeah. <laughs> said there's horse racing on Wednesday, yeah. April yeah. 27th. It's the, the Guineas. Feature, yeah, the yes. feature it's race the is the Guineas. The feature race is the Guineas, and That's the right. racing will begin on the afternoon into the twilight night racing. Yeah. Right. So a great moment for all those in barbados come on out and support the barbados turf club and great racing at the garrison savannah because all, all of us the started barbados at the garrison and we got to support the garrison yes no matter yes. what yes all right okay all right, guys. guys okay all right, good night good night good night everyone okay thank you